It's time to duck, duck, shoot. Welcome in, everyone. It is the Warzone Total Frenzy Quack Up. We got $50,000 on the line, and I could be not more excited to chat about this. We have two days of action, and I'm Spider Tiff, that's Dandro, and we're gonna be calling all things quirky, because you never know what those ducks are gonna be up to. Dandro, how you feeling? I'm feeling extra feathery today. If you missed my going live to it, I got the intel on how these ducks are gonna play here today. No, I'm super excited. We've been here with Warzone Total Frenzy for the last four weeks. We get super serious on the competition, so it's nice that we kind of have something unique. It's fresh, it's fun, and I've you know, kind of been seeing everybody on the timeline just being really excited to play something a little bit different here today. I'm excited to be alongside you, just having some laughs as we have some people hunting some ducks some ducks all right so for those of you that might have some questions about what are you going to see today because we did mention it's a two-day format so let's go ahead and jump through that this is that all awesome crossover event alongside warzone mobile so it will be the two-day competition day one you're gonna see pc and console day two you're gonna see mobile we're gonna have 30 duos total competing five hunter duos that can use any weapon gun or equipment they're gonna be hunting 25 duos that are going to be essentially the ducks who will only be able Able to use those melee weapons and slight equipment each duo is going to play two games as a hunter one each day and 10 games as ducks but there's going to be banned items which are going to make things a little more interesting mm. you cannot have any perks that are going to hide you from the mini map uav launchers any of that fun stuff also no buybacks no redeploys none of that so dandro the scoring format is the most complex here so let's go ahead and chat through it yeah, I mean, it's gonna be really, really fun. So the Ducks, you're trying to get some of those placement points, right? You could see there that you're gonna gain more points based on the deeper you make it into the lobby. But if you are able, you and your duo as a Duck, able to take down a Hunter, you're gonna get five points. So if you're able to finesse that, you are looking good. When you are a Hunter, it's pretty simple. You're gonna be getting one point for every Duck kill. If you do happen to take out one of the other Hunters, well, we are heavily penalizing that. Minus 10 points from you. now. A little bit of bonus points if a duck team wins a game all ducks duos with a player remaining are going to go ahead and earn five points so if all the ducks in a lobby take out a hunter guess what hey all the remaining ducks are earning five points so we could see tiff maybe some of the ducks sticking together trying to just everybody fly at once try and get five points you know to the best of their ability i would love to see at least one game today us to hit that bonus I hope we get it because could you just imagine the ducks straight up flocking towards the hunters and they're just trying to mow them down because I know that Dandro you and I have been chatting strategy about what we might potentially see on yeah. game number one we'll dabble into that later but we were getting creative but who knows what our creators will bring to the table today now granted you got to see the format we'll probably chat a little bit more on that but what are they going to be fighting for that fifty thousand dollars it's going to be broken up into a couple different ways right we have thirty eight thousand dollars that'll be awarded to the placements as you can see structured on the screen first place taking home nine thousand dollars second 6k and scaled all the way down where the people will be walking away with a little bit of something but then there's twelve thousand dollars that's going to be kind of this extra bonus dandro to benefit those mm. hunters yeah the hunter of each game who is the top hunter they accrue the most points the duo they're gonna be getting a thousand dollars and that is for every map that we're playing both today and tomorrow so a nice little bit of extra cash if maybe you're not so lucky on the duck side well hey if you're able to fry out as a hunter and be up there at the top you have a potential to maybe take home some solid amount of money your way so i love that that we kind of give a nice little incentive it gives like the hunters are already trying to do their best to get all of those points right tiff but hey if you're able to be that number one well you're getting a little bread on top of it and i'm not talking about a loaf <laughs> i mean it's true you can go feed the ducks and we're just out here throwing out bread to our creators but let's go ahead and chat specifically about the duos that you're going to be seeing we mentioned 30 duos and we've got a lot of fun creators that are going to be joining us as you can see this is kind of our first group i'm immediately looking at tommy tommy has experience in that scenario where you have to do hide and seek he has been a hunter before completely mowed people down and it's been interesting to watch him on prior iterations i believe that was on almazra as a whole but when you're bringing in yanrik as that kind of mobile creator alongside him it's how will these two work together not only on urzikstan for day one but when it comes to verdansk on mobile for day two dandro who you got your eyes on 
I'm looking at that first team at the top. It's Selly and Band. If you are anybody who's watched competitive Warzone, you know exactly who Selly is. Was uh, obviously that three-time back-to-back winner of, of course, Crown the Queen that we ran here on Warzone Total Frenzy. But teaming up with a Band, who is a professional COD mobile player, was the 2021 Sheesh. Cod Mobile World Champs MVP. So when I'm thinking about some of the skill sets you're going to want, well, when you're a hunter, it is all about slaying power on both, you know, kind of here on the big map, on both mobile. And when you pair up sort of the best of the best from each realm, I think that that is a team that can definitely do some very solid damage. And of course, we've got some other teams there. You had Soka and Metalcore. Something to know about Metalcore being that Warzone mobile partner who's always looking to kind of get weird with those builds, which I think a lot of our creators might do. And I'm curious to see kind of what they pull out to try and combat back at the Hunters, whether it's their perks or however they go about it. But let's go ahead and roll to that second page of teams because we've got so many duos here that are looking to have fun. Nice little shout out to Majin and Raider. Imagine on the timeline looking in his best adventure gear, <laughs> trying to get ready to throw down. You've also got Shifty Lotex and Tifa coming on over. Just recently started playing a lot more Call of Duty, pairing up alongside Gemini. Excited to see what they do. Yeah, and another team here that I think is you, you have to talk about, it's Feudives and LEGO Unlocked. Feudives has been a longtime mainstay of the Call of Duty community, always being seen you know, in some of these kickoff tournaments, just kind of is a, is a fantastic Call of Duty creator in their own right. But teaming up with LEGO, who is also the same, I, I feel like, you know, LEGO is just always tweeting about anything and everything Call of Duty, and especially the mobile space, has just been absolutely grinding Warzone mobile lately. So I'll be kind of cool to see both of them team up here in this event here today because we talked about some of these teams you know they gotta think a little bit outside the box and those are uh two players that i think are absolutely going to bring something special to the table when it comes to maybe how to survive a little bit longer as a duck I just, you know, it's going to be chaotic. You think to those end games, we've seen it before, but now that you've got kind of five hunter teams going crazy in those end games, I just want to see who's going to be able to withstand the gas the longest. Let's go ahead and roll mm. through our next couple teams. And that should be all 30 of our duos. We've got Ebates and ICIOS coming through as a squad. Noobs also has plenty of experience being a hunter when it came to Almazra. Curious to see how he does it on not only Urzikstan, but also Verdansk on mobile playing alongside mobile clips. We've got Sean J. You've probably seen her on Crown the Queen. She was casting that, pairing up with Ducky the Gamer, but you know, Dandro for this in particular. Besides Modern Warzone playing alongside Ackman, we cannot <laughs> not talk about Iceman and Isaac teaming up with Bobby Plays. I mean, if you were to talk about two of the biggest sort of names in both the respects of either Warzone Mobile, the Call of Duty mobile space, and also just Warzone Mainstay, like those are two of the biggest names. I love that they're kind of here because if there's one thing I know about Isaac, you know, he was tweeting out that he was just super excited to be here and have something fun to play. But he's a competitor at heart. That dude I know has been rolling through strats. Bobby is the same way, right? Is a caster in the COD mobile space. And I know that him and Bobby probably been cooking up some ways that they can just do something devious on the map. I would not be surprised. But can we talk here very quickly, Tiff? How did Ducky the Gamer get the buff of being in the Duck event? I feel like there's some nefariousness going on there, my friend. Somehow you weaseled your way into this. Is that who you were FaceTiming earlier on your on the timeline? Is that is that I, Ducky the Gamer? Look, I'm just I saying it was a duck. I can't confirm or deny. Yeah, I know you were looking for those strats. I know we were chatting about some of the strats, but you know what? No matter what we look at and we think we could potentially see, our creators will likely have one upped us. And I can imagine oh. like Modern Warzone pairing up with Ackman. Like you know that. I know he hasn't played a ton as much lately because he's been focusing on a lot of the journalism aspect, but he knows so much about the game. We'll likely know where all oh, the yeah. secret areas are. Like, I'm just saying, I want to see the craziest spots, Dandro. Yeah, I mean, there's tons of spots on the map that, you know, our players are going to need to know about. One of the things that immediately kind of popped out to me is you're going to want to have, if you are a duck, a plethora of cash, right? You're going to yes. want to be able to buy those munitions boxes, you're going to be able to buy UAVs, portable radars. Like all of these things are going to just help give you information and help keep you alive. So those hidden caches around the map are really easy ways to kind of get some fast money. So you only know that if you're playing the map and you're a big nerd of Warzone, like, well, myself and some of our competitors here as well. But I'm also kind of looking at, you know, some of the loadouts that maybe they are sure. going to go ahead and grab. Because as a reminder, our ducks, they can only use melee weapons. And we told them you can't use a riot shield. None of that cheese in here. All right. So you only have melee weapons. I think we're going to see a lot of tonfas 
that are on here on the map. If you don't have the Tanfa, hopefully you're able to use the Karambit, second best melee weapon, in my opinion. But we're also gonna see, I think, some, some cool equipment and perks that I almost wanna hold off and wait to see what people are using before we get into it, because I can do a lot of like speculation that. here, Tiff. But I wanna see what did players, what did they brew up? What, what kind of homebrew did they cook? That's true. We'll have to wait till after map number one. So today we will be kicking things off on the PC side into Urzikstan for six matches. And I believe we've already got a list of what our hunters for game number one are going to look like. So we can kind of chat a yeah. little bit more about that for game one. We've got Selly and Band, Huskers and Blur, Kaylee and Noah Sunday, the only Shady and Novato and Youngstas and Lord Heck. Now, for that first five, I'm thinking, you know, Selly, Huskers, Kaylee, Shady, and Youngstas are going to know a lot more about Urzikstan. So it'll be sure. nice to see, are they going to split from their kind of Warzone mobile counterparts or will they sync up together and kind of just run the map? That's something I actually hadn't considered is that, right? you know, you can kind of just figure out maybe where you want to go. I wouldn't be surprised if maybe you kind of wait in the plane a little bit, kind of mm -hmm. see where that circle is, see where the plane line, and maybe you wait halfway, maybe even like two thirds of the way through to see like, all right, how many people are still left in plane? How are we going to go? Because I can imagine if you're a duck, you're trying to get to a corner of the map and get as far as way to try and keep your situation as safe as possible, right? True. So, but splitting on the map, that's a really good idea. I hadn't really thought about that. Yeah, you could just see that where one of them says, yo, there's a ton of people landing over here. I'm going, good luck, head on over there. I mean, that's true. You do run the risk of the potential ducks rising up against you, right? Oh You're split, God. like you never know what's gonna happen. You said Tonfa earlier and I'm just like, I am traumatized from all the Tonfas on Rebirth yeah. Island. So if oh I'm God. a duck, you know I want my vengeance. You know I want the Tonfa. And you were kind of talking. I know we were trying to wait to see what kind of perks we would see come out, but I almost want to do a little bit of speculation here, Dandro, because we were sure. looking at it. We're like, what is that going to look like? and one of the most in particular off the wall perks that you don't usually see in normal Warzone competitive, but you could see brought out here is Irradiated. Yeah, Irradiated I actually think is gonna be a little bit of a slept on perk that if you're smart, you're gonna be grabbing, at least trying to maybe grab it closer to the end game. If you yes. don't know what that perk is, it is of course one that gives you less gas damage and lets you move faster while you are in the gas, right? If this is your first time maybe tuning into an event like this, Players are going to try and do their best when it comes to those final circles to stay in gas as long as possible. So you team up irradiated with something like a durable gas mask and get some stims in hand potentially. You can see them staying in gas for a surprising amount of time. So if you are a duck, you obviously want to be able to have that. And if you're one of those hunters, well, you might be thinking, yeah, we could just sit in zone and maybe shoot out into the zone, but you're going to have to go chase them. You're going to have to go bring them on down. So something that definitely both the hunters and the ducks got to consider when they're thinking about their perk choices is what, you know, what kind of gives them the strategy, but what's also going to give them the longevity to make it in those end game zones. And something that I've typically seen in previous iterations of a kind of more hide and seek style tournament is a lot of our creators tend to get their chats involved right yeah. off the rip when they're kind of prepping to what to do. And honestly, they'll you'll see some of the craziest spots come up, but not only that, but their chats will be like, you know, I don't personally think this is a good spot. Maybe if you go like five meters over and down this little hill, they know everything. So it makes it to be like a very interactive experience. So throughout today's entire broadcast, if you see a creator that you know and love, or maybe you want to find a new creator, all of our POVs will be from the players that are streaming themselves. So please be sure to go check them out as well, because it's gonna it's gonna get crafty. That's all yeah. I have to say. It will be <laughs> very crafty and all over the place. Now, mind you, our lobby is still just getting set up. We're waiting on one or two more players, but for that time being, we can kind of go ahead and reach out over some of the global bands. We did yeah. kind of briefly glaze over them in that kind of format style video, but you're not going to be allowed to have any buybacks, no reinforcement flares, no gulag reentry tokens, no redeploy bags. And if those jailbreaks do occur, you may not re-enter the game, Dandro. So this is truly survival of the fittest. 
I mean, listen, we had to get to our species of ducks here today somehow. And that, well, of course, was only by survival of the fittest. But I do like that we have, are forcing everybody to have to use the duck operator skin. Because, like, you know, in moments like this in the past, right, you've seen people pull out just the absolute cheese of, like, this one random, you know, operator skin you got from a battle pass four seasons ago that is the exact same texture skin as one of the bushes on the map, yes. right? Like, we've seen literally that happen. So the fact is, you see a duck, you shoot a duck today. And I feel like that just helps our hunters so much. But hey, and like you said, no real redeploys. You're not getting back into the game if you do get taken out. Also, one thing to note, no perks that can hide you off the map. So no ghost or any of the vests that you can obviously pick up that keep you off the map as well. So UAVs, personal radars, recon drones, literally anything you are showing up if somebody looks at you, combat scout, anything that can mark you, you are there. There is a no hiding on this map here today from our hunters, which if I'm a duck is honestly super scary to think about. I would be scared because like, I could just imagine someone waltzing up to you and you think that they're gonna be a duck, right? So the yeah. that thing that you said, like, hey, we're forcing people to use the duck operator skin. That makes me a lot more comfortable because if I see someone that doesn't look like a duck, maybe I'll just be like, you know, a little, little toggle crouch but like one of us like you chilling <laughs> like but there is potential for duck on duck violence you will be penalized as stated it's similar for the hunters it's negative two if you take out another duck which i'm really curious once we start getting into our later matchups if someone's just you know missing a couple for or like if you want to kind of wreak havoc on the leaderboard take someone out that might be ahead of you at the end of the day a little duck on duck violence never hurt anyone I mean, I think it's going to hurt some people, uh, aka the people getting beat down with enemy tonfas uh, that are Fair. probably there. But I, it is kind of interesting, right? Like, are we going to see maybe some people team up to try and take down a hunter? And then, you know, you're just holding down your right trigger. And then accidentally, you know, you, you get that extra swing onto somebody, you take them out and you're like, oh, uh, well, this is unfortunate. You just run away trying to maybe save my bad, some face. Sir, it wasn't me. I promise I was not the tonfa wielding duck that took you out. But I think that's something we forgot to mention was there's no launchers allowed either yeah. for the band. So I'm sorry, um, Shady. Shady's I know, punching I, the air right now. Yeah, he's, I know Shady loves the launchers, but unfortunately no are launchers allowed because that would just be a little too chaotic for this event. And honestly, we have to minimize just a smidge. Sure, yeah, the event where we have like, <laughs> I, I don't know, a stupid amount of people running around is only ducks and have to use melee weapons. Yeah, launchers is where we go too far. You're right, Tiff, it, absolutely. It, it, it's true, it's, it's, it's too far. But for the <laughs> duck team loadout restrictions, we did kind of get a little bit deeper into that for the duck role. You have to not only adhere to the bands that we kind of just chatted about, but you do, like you said, have to use the duck skin, which, you know, it's it's not really exposed or anything. I mean, you could hide in the water all you want, it's even if your face is exposed. Head. Like, we're just going <laughs> to see the big yellow head from a mile away. Um, you can only use the melee weapons and equipment, right? So we were talking about the Tomfas, and that's probably going to be super prevalent. No riot shields no lethals so no throwing knives no bouncy betties explosives c4s yada 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 because you know you could little you could set a little trap right oh, yeah Just i mean I, i've been playing i've been playing rebirth I've slid into a room where there's eight bouncing Bettys and there's just oh people God. in a corner. Like, it's happened. We know that some of these players here today would love to make it happen. Uh, but if we're kind of talking about some of the other things I think that we could see, you know, either the Ducks or the Hunters use. Uh, one of those things that I think that's going to be, like, really, really interesting to see that we haven't really seen a lot of, it's a field upgrade, but you can. I tested this before. You can bring it in as a tactical, and that's Battle Rage, Tiff. I wouldn't be surprised if some of the ducks are trying to maybe going to bring some stun grenades, obviously, Ooh. as part of their tacticals, right? You get, you got it, two of you can stun a hunter. You got Tonfas, you get a nice little slide cans of behind someone. That might be a little easy hunter kill. So if you are one of those hunters, maybe you use Battle Rage to reduce, you know, the, obviously you become immune to some of those stuns. And if you're a duck, you can use Battle Rage if the, the hunters are trying to use stuns on you. Might just be something that we could, that's just an idea that we might see. Uh, among some of the other stuff that we have. I mean, there's all kinds of grenades and stuff. I was like going through because I'm like, man, there's so many things that like we never use in just like the normal course of playing the game right now that are actually super useful here today. The EMD grenades is one, right? Everybody forgets about that thing. It's a grenade that you throw and it explodes and can mark people that are in an area. So if you're a hunter Ooh. and you want to kind of say, hey, is there anybody in this building? Maybe you don't have snapshots. Throw in one of those grenades, get some pings rolling and, uh, and maybe get an ID and start pushing on through. 
No, I don't think that's a bad idea at all. We've already talked about kind of the utilization of stims and how we think they'll be prevalent, yep. not only like to recover from a potential hunter interaction. If you do survive as your little duck, you get away, you know, keep all your ducks in a row. But I mean, also towards that end game through the gas and such. And then I'm thinking about, you already mentioned battle rage. We talked about stuns, the snapshots, brief interaction. If you've got them, use them great. Then it's kind of interesting, right? For the hunters, the Semtex and drill charge, they can just kind of clear out buildings that way. Yep. Yeah, I think that that is like a, a great idea. I mean, the drill charge especially is going to be yeah. like, if you maybe get an idea, you pop a UAV, you know that there's a ton of people in a building and you don't see them moving. I would not be surprised to see some of these players just, you know, you're running restock or something. You have your munitions box. You just have like eight drill charges in your backpack and you are just whipping them at buildings trying to get people out. I like, that's the stuff I'm most excited about today, Tiff, is like, yeah, haha, -ha, they're gonna go hunt. No, it's gonna be like, yeah. I'm gonna watch somebody like Soka is about to whip out nine drill charges in a row on a building and get like a quad feed or something out of it. So that's like the chaos that when it comes to using some of these things that I'm like really locked in for. Yeah, sure, like hunting is fun, but like, give me the weird stuff. We are going to see so much weird stuff in this game. Anytime it comes down to hide and seek, do you remember like the mass exodus because there's so much water on the map? Yeah. People like to hide in the crevices around water, whether there's like a dock that you can kind of get under the wood. People will go all out. And then as soon as a hunter kind of shows up and starts maybe like doing a little bit of peppering, right? You're just kind of doing some warning shots. Maybe you think you see someone. And then there's just like the flock, the migration <laughs> of everyone just trying to get away and just just everything breaks loose. So speaking of those hunters that want to try and capitalize on all the potential ducks that could be in one area, we were kind of thinking, would it be just full blown LMGs with the largest mags possible, despite how yeah. slow it is because you just need the ammo. I mean, potentially, I mean, we've been seeing kind of even some of the weapons that are in the meta. You have the Pulamot 7.62, you got the mm -hmm. Bruin, right? Like yeah, both true. of those just have these huge mags that kind of hit. Obviously, you know, people have their meta weapons that they've been using in, in ranked or even just in rebirth right now. So I kind of would think that you maybe want to pair it up with like just something that you can just, if you see a lot of people in an area, that you're just holding down a trigger, you're holding down your mouse, and you are just aiming, and you are just dumping bullets in a direction, trying to be able to find those eliminations. Uh, in the secondary slot, I was thinking maybe something like an AMR or an HRM, right? You got 50 rounds in the clip. If you wanna bring out the 100 round WSP Swarm, you potentially could use that as well. Just some of these SMGs that just have huge mags uh, available to them are gonna be kind of great, but also let you still keep you know moving. Cause let's remember Urzikstan is a big map. You don't wanna have to be running double LMGs and you're kind of just like waddling around the map, holding your, your giant heavy gun, right? You wanna be able to have some movement available to you. So having a sub like that is definitely gonna be uh, kind of sort of useful to have in that back pocket. But I don't know, maybe some people, they're just gonna bring out the Ram 7 because that thing doesn't move. It already has a lot of bullets in it. The time to kill is great. Uh, people are just comfortable with it at this point. Who knows? Um, but I think that the LMGs, I would be really surprised if we don't at least see some people rocking it. Yeah, I think that's fair. But the Ram 7, you're right, it doesn't move. Like they are able to control that recoil. So they're comfortable with it, especially at that mid range. And then even more particular, that recent gun that just dropped in season three, the SOA Subverter. I've actually been enjoying yeah. that weapon a lot. So maybe if we're not running the Ram 7 and you want to stick to something of that nature, I think that's a great one to slot in. I think you have good shouts on the HRM because we were kind of chatting about that one prior. I'm like, look, that SMG still kind of fries in a mid-range oh. scenario. So if you're like, I just have to immediately switch just to put a couple bullets into them to finish it off, that is perfect to make happen. But a lot of people have been kind of using that AMR more recently, kind of few and far between, but I've been seeing it a lot more recently than I ever thought I would, so. Yeah, and well, I'm gonna put out a little challenge to some of our players here as well, because I think if we're gonna stick with the theme, then uh, we have to. I wanna see some sniper rifles. I wanna see some shotguns, okay? We never get to use either of those in any competition. It's open season, quite literally. Go ahead, use them, pull out the fire shotties, pull out the one-shot snipers. I would love to see somebody be able just to like, you know, basically, like you said, you have one of those mass exodus events. You just have a shotgun and you are going to town. I would love to see that here today. So anybody that does, I can't give you any monetary value or like any points or anything, but you earn points in the Dandro heart if you use a sniper or a shotgun here today. So it's hopefully nice we're going to see star. some of that. A big Dandro cast gold star. Oh, I you love that. You get a thumbs that. up. <laughs> sure. I mean, as long as it's not, you know, in the terms of 
a post-apocalyptic world thumbs up. I'm chilling, right? All right, so anyways, here's the deal, guys. We are currently still setting up the lobby. We are going to jump to a quick break, and when we get back, it's time to go looting, and it's time to go shooting. See you in a minute.
Welcome back, everyone, to the $50,000 Quack Hunt. It is time to hunt or, well, be hunted, vice versa, whether the ducks take down the hunters or will the hunters just find all the ducks instead. I'm Spireship, that's Dandro, and look, we're about to get into game number one. Everything on the line, and who knows what we're going to find out, but all I know is we're kicking things off with youngsters and Lord Heck. Woo. Lord Heck and Youngstas, a great duo, might I add. Youngstas has, you know, been a, a competitor for a while, and I love that we got Lord Heck alongside them as well. So we're on board with the Youngstas here. Let's see what they got going as they are over here at the uh, the cargo side of the map. Maybe thinking that somebody is nearby, and well, they got a UAV already. Look, if somebody's getting aggro on the map. They have a most wanted, and I have to imagine that's probably one of the hunters because they're not immediately flying at it to try and take it out from what I can see. That's kind of an interesting strat to maybe get your cash up so you can make sure you have plenty of UAVs because you never know what we're going to witness throughout. But a lot of these zips will allow our players to get mobile, right? And thanks to our amazing production, right? You've got that top of your map there, Urzik Stan. We're on map one of six if you just joined us. But this will show all five duos that are going to be those hunters. So as of right now, it looks like Huskers and Blur are one of the only squads to find a singular duck and we are looking okay i mean youngsters hits the one of those secret caches i was talking about you find a loadout marker on it it's pretty good and rocking the wsp swarm and i think that's a subverter if i'm not mistaken on the other side actually there might be a, a 762 i have to get a quick get a better look at it. i haven't been able to see him go on over but either way solid solid choices here i love that I like that I called the WSP swarm and, and you know, I'm a little clairvoyant here. You weren't a hundred percent certain. Are you? are like, you know, maybe, maybe. And I think that it, it's solid. It's going to be a good hit, especially that you can throw the hundred round mag into it. But for now, it's just going to be a lot of people flying around the map, looking for those potential eliminations. Now, if I'm a duck, where am I going? I feel like ducks like water and I feel like that's a solid place to be. I, one thing that we didn't get to touch on at the top of the show that you know, it's something that maybe you have to be wary of, or not even wary, but just understand that it's there, is, of course, those rebreathers, right, that are on the map now. They let you stay underwater for a little bit longer. You find one of those rebreathers, well, now a water play might be do something a little bit then. And, and Kaylee actually comes face to face with one of the hunters and somehow is able to just run away. Yeah, because there's no hunter on hunter violence unless you want to take negative 10 points. Now, I mean, granted, the way I look at it, if each duck... <laughs> is worth one point yep you would I'm need with you. to kill 10 ducks to make up for killing a hunter hear me what? out I many... just... <laughs> can we just I'm have somebody go no russian at the start of a match and just, <laughs> just take Taking out all out. of the other hunters and just be the only one on the map I oh mean, that's a little i like it i just <laughs> want to see somebody do to it i like it like I know it's I know we're early on like it's too early to get some of this this you know uh I don't know tomfoolery happening but oh my gosh please please somebody in one of the other lobbies do it, it you know what's gonna happen Diff it'll be like well maybe we'll see that tomorrow right when it's like game four game five somebody's like there's no way I'm I'm making more cash off of this so they're just gonna start hunting the other hunters look anything is possible here at the quack hunt and it, we did say hunt or be hunted that will go for whether or not you are a specific hunter on the map or if you're a duck trying to get those extra bonus points by kind of working together to take out a, a hunter see someone you hear under him looking at the water has high alert and i don't know if high alert is like necessarily the perk you want to run if you're a hunter it kind of seems like maybe kaylee just kind of is rocking her, like her normal loadout has Mountaineer, has Quick Fix. Yet again, don't know if you need Quick Fix. I don't know if UAVs are See that there's a, some sort of Godzilla skin below. I'm just, I, yeah, I'm like, below. one of these guys is going to go to clear a building out. They're going to full face run into it, and they're just going to see ducks staring at them. <laughs> and it's going to turn <laughs> into a horror game, and I am already getting a little nervous. So shooting ducks too. <laughs> Sally yeah, 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 is here. going to uh, hit the zip. Oh, she sees someone underneath her, though. 
Maybe looking. The see Brock's little... chat, bro. <laughs> little ducky. I have, hey, listen. You gotta <gasps> win the match. Whoever finds one, who is it? Oh. It's Tommy. No, I was hyping him up at the top of the show, saying Tommy is so good at being a hunter, but definitely not being a duck. And that was a squad wipe too. I feel like the. A little unfortunate so are... there. Oh, oh as a side note here, we did different. not cover this at the top yeah. of the show, but if you do go to Gulag, right, you will receive no points for an elimination in the Gulag. I just want to clarify that. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Pick that. Shady here, obviously a Warzone content OG. If you uh, aren't familiar with Shady all the way back in Verdansk and his uh, antics with an RPG, please go watch them. Was some of my favorite early content uh, that was coming out from this game. Was just doing some great stuff. But when it comes to that, I think Shady's one of those players that can definitely like think outside the box and not afraid to like not try and use just whatever the meta weapons are and just says, "Hey, like let me use what I want." Has a cat AMR in a hand. I'm not entirely yeah. sure. I don't think that's a Lodo. I think it's probably just a, a legendary one he found as ground loot, but not bad. And gets nice. a UAV to boot. He's not dead yet. That's some nice moves going out of him. I mean, honestly, if you see a duck from far away, why not drop him with a cat AMR? And now that duck just trying to frolic away. <sighs> but Resolute for our ducks will be keeping them alive, right? It gives you that extra little yeah. speed boost towards the end when you're being shot at. And we've seen Tommy had it equipped. That duck had it equipped, whoever they are. So it might be one of those universal perks that we see a lot of our ducks using. Yeah, there's a couple of perks that when I was looking through that I thought, you know, maybe in the right time could be great. Survivor was one of them, right? I mean, that's kind of a, a fun one where, you know, you can kind of uh, res uh, a little bit faster. You can res your teammates faster. And you also do get that live ping if somebody is shooting you as well. So kind of a defensive uh, perk in the moment where if you get that live ping on one of the hunters who's shooting you, you have a solid idea of where they are and maybe you can dodge away from them. But whoever this is underneath youngsters is doing a great job. You see them, they're on the move. They got the smokes ready to go. The ducks are looking good. All right. All right, where are we headed off in our, our UTV? Let's go. Sadie, you tell me. He's like, now we leave. And it's like, all right, cool. Where are we headed to? We're on the edge of gas, which I like. It's respectable. I don't know if you saw what Shady was laughing at or if he's got a chance to look at his bottom right. He has bouncing bettys that have been planted. Under the loadout? <laughs> Under the loadout that wasn't theirs. So they know that that's somebody's loadout around here. And we see the bouncing betty underneath it. That's the I mean, type of stuff I was talking about, because that's genius. Yeah, yeah, I like it. It's nice, but also, because I mean, I wouldn't notice that. The people that throw bouncing Bettys on buy stations, wherever they put them, I will hit them every single time. Because I saw him staring at the loadout, and I'm like, that's great, but why? Oh, the squad here? Are we, do we have the president hunter nearby us? What is happening? This is Mad Max on Urzikstan right now. It's just Shady's trying to just get in a vehicle to move around the map. And there's just a ton of teams. I don't know if those are other hunters, but to me, it kind of feels like if you're playing edge of zone like this, you are potentially a team of ducks. So Shady, you're not going to have the launchers either to take people out of vehicles either. So hopefully they can make something happen. Oh my God. Crew reuniting. I'm really curious to see. Looks like there's another duck that hits the water. Huskers' his team here alongside Blur putting up numbers. <laughs> the fuck you mean I'm a tryhard? We lost Blur though. Crazy. We've we oh, lost wait. a hunter. Wait. <laughs> okay. Okay. So some duck somewhere. I mean, I I'm hoping that it was a duck and wasn't that you know you maybe you're trying to hit one of those redeploys and your shoot just didn't work magically oh, maybe oh, or something. Oh, it happens to the best down, of us. Bitch. It's okay. But. I mean, Huskers can hit a buy station and get Blur back on it. I just, you gotta go find that buy station to do it. One thing to know here, Tiff, though, uh, Huskers and Blur are currently sitting on eight. Everybody else on one. Yeah. Not even close. Oh, I love that we're getting questions here from Blur. So he's going for a, a bounty, right? We know in this instance that Tommy is a duck. We saw him be one of the first people eliminated on broadcast as that duck. But grabbing these bounty contracts, they're not guaranteed to get a duck. It could happen be a hunter, but the odds are in your favor as Huskers is essentially saying right now. 
I see what you're saying. The odds are ever in your favor. Odds are always in your favor right now. So yeah, seeing that Tommy was there, there's even a couple more. And coming on board with Novato playing alongside Whoa. Shady. And yeah, they're back over here. Look at how many vehicles are on this map right now, oh Tiff. Give me back, Shady. <laughs> Give me back, bro. Oh gosh. We are out here just trying to find as many ducks as possible. Rack up those eliminations. And here goes Husker still trying to get Tommy, but someone pulled a bounty on him, bro. And here's, you know, something we didn't get to talk about, Tiff. As the day goes on, the meta for this event is going to change, right? So you're going to see, like, nope. sure, this is what everybody's rocking, but I'm already thinking you're seeing this many vehicles start getting to use by ducks. I'm slapping oh, on an yeah. LMG with the anti-vehicle oh, rounds, and that's exactly yeah, what I'm doing. Exactly. I'm going to light up one of those cars to be able to disable it and then hopefully take out the ducks that are on the inside very quickly. Also, you got to think a little bit smart. It's a great way that if you can disable a vehicle from one of your other hunters, Hello, true. deny them that capability, you're in your own vehicle, <laughs> continue that's moving throughout the map. Right there's a duck for Sully and Band. And honestly, when you're shooting at a vehicle, if you haven't already seen the big yellow duck head, you could just be disabling the hunter's vehicle. But for the ducks that are trying to get quirky and grab a vehicle, well, you know, another scenario here. You could also take to the water where ducks usually thrive. But in this moment, I don't know why Huskers are swimming like Michael Phelps, man, but he just covered so much ground and goodbye, Tommy. Caster just all Tom can do is just swim, back. right? Like, he doesn't have a melee weapon. He can't do anything. Can so it's just trying to do his best and maybe Bro, dive away, and, uh, go into a direction, again, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, can our ducks melee in general? Like, if he's in the water and has a pistol, can he melee in the water? Crazy or is it just the only damage you can deal is a melee weapon? That's something I didn't think of until right now. I'm going to get confirmation on that. Still in that car. See, as the meta evolves, we're just going to keep asking questions. But back on over to Youngstas and Lord. Her, heck, but we've got more vehicles. You can see the yellow head from far away. We're already starting to try and rack up those numbers. Now, granted, $1,000 will go to the top performing hunter squad each map today. So $6,000 for six maps on Urzikstan and Huskers and Blur. Look, we know Blur is fully eliminated, but Huskers is holding his own. I mean, Husker's just kind of pulling away right now. I don't know yeah, what he was able to do to find that many ducks that early, but obviously whatever it was worked out well for him. I'm not seeing really people like doing as much as I thought they would. Like get some cash up, pop an advanced right UAV, start figuring out where people are and, and flying at them. Right now we're kind of just seeing people kind of lazily move throughout the map. You know, nobody's really like hardcore clearing buildings or anything so far, Tiff. But oh, look at this. The ducks. Wait, he sees one up at the top. Oh my gosh. I wish we could go back because I was just seeing a C4 get lobbed up over it. Oh. Did he get them or did the ducks escape? No, 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 no. Don't even worry about that. Oh, man. I'm not entirely sure. At least we saw Sally kind of clean it up some ducks alongside I mean, I mean, Band. They can melee right with whatever, Dandro. If they've got a pistol and you want to beat them you down with it, so enough. long as they're meleeing, All fair right. game. Something to note when those future water engagements. Okay. Hopefully the uh, the players know about that as well. Right that way you can yeah. do that. We were seeing Selly. It looked like on the other side, finally finding some eliminations as well. So Selly and Band Tiff, they're kind of bringing that lead back in their favor. Try to be able to get some of those points, get that thousand dollars as well. Look, Selly yet again up here. He's just frying these ducks out of these vehicles. Who knew ducks could drive? Get them off. Get them off the road. <laughs> I love that they're kind of working together because some of the questions we had at the top of the show was, would we see hunters essentially on that duo split up? But Selly and Van, they're like, nah, let's work together. There goes the UAV. Got the mobile buy station to go ahead and procure more UAVs. But from here on out, where do we go? Oh, it might be actually. We're trying to kind of look to see where is the oh, zone pulling. And oh, here's a good idea. I like this. You're seeing that the UAV is picking out. Somebody's on the train. I love in pubs just dropping on the train in general. In this sort of scenario, I actually think that's really smart. You're constantly moving throughout the map. You can just kind of put it in reverse if you need to go into a different direction. If you know there's a bunch of hunters on the other side, you get a buy station on it. 
I like that. You saw Tifa Jesse was on the train trying to make something happen, but just, just go kill yourself. Not more. my fellow not able Tiff's. To. Not not the fellows. No, no, like, if I go back to but hey, we got Blur back in the game. You like you go like Wait, dead. Unless you get a token. Well, that was, that was unfortunate. I was like, I don't know what's happening here, or how this is working, but we're going to go with it. Anyways, back on the strat of hitting the bounties. It's going to expire in about 22 seconds, but we still get the general like, idea of where that player is. We're dropping down and immediately seeing the vehicles on the move. Are they potential ducks? Well, one of them is 100% shady. One of our hunters here who's in hot pursuit of a duck. <laughs> I feel like I'm watching a campaign mission right now, Tiff. Like, you're leaning out the side, trying to eliminate the player in the vehicle, but they're doing some great sort of gymnastics here in this car. Oh, no, they're going to get stuck a little bit. Can they be able to take them out? There we go. Another one for Novato. He knocks it. They get the full goodbye, Mago YouTube. Oh, man. I'm seeing some people are up in a heli. Sally just trying to get some tags in, be able to maybe bring down that helicopter. And yet again, I think whoever the hunters are in the next one, you got to bring some anti-vehicle stuff going on here because we're just seeing too many people are using these vehicles to survive for very long. I mean, even think about a helicopter, like just being able to have that at your disposal, just kind of stay up in the air, keep flying. It's going to be crazy. Oh no, oh no, Tim. Not that duck coming full swing, but unfortunately it's going to be pink and she's not going to be able to take him down. I love the aggressiveness there. Just being like, all right, if I'm in the gas, I'm at least going to try and take one of you with me. I mean, look, we are, we're coming through, right? But Sully and Band are doing the best they can to track down that duo of Huskers and Blur, which is kind of just... Huskers at this okay. point, but for Shady, you want, you they're covering a lot of Let ground the, in uh, this last yeah, zone. Now, we did talk about the prevalence of what we'd see with water, and there's still the river in play for the next right, 20 all, or so seconds, this. and a shrivel of it will be available. Okay. <laughs> I love, dude, this is what I'm talking about. Shady throws a personal radar, radar <gasps> on top. Find the little nice. duck hanging out underneath. The WSP stingers is the, the item of choice here. Shade is my new favorite hunter of the day so far. Might not be performing the best, a little bit below, but it's the only person not using just hardcore meta things. And for that, I applaud you. Hey, we're getting closer. 29 players up in the lobby. We know we're missing at least one hunter. But oh for God, now, we're, these are the mass exoduses that we've been talking about. We don't have too many player. buildings left in the, zone. So zone. trying to use anything and everything for that information. You've got mortar strikes galore on the buildings and back on over to Kaylee, trying to pick people off or shall I say, pick the ducks off as they rotate in. But when you get your kills stolen, man, that's, that's going to be tough. It's going to be very, very tough. You can see minus our 10 hunters, we got 14 ducks still in the lobby here so we're coming down to the end they're trying to do their best yeah. to stay alive you're starting to see some people in around the ducks everybody the smokes <gasps> are coming in tip they tried to be able to fly at the blow techs unfortunately not able to take down kaylee no. oh look the harkonnen sword in hand paula Trades, where are you let me just tell you, you look like Michael Myers just stepping up into the doorway, <laughs> knife up, just like, come on in, but they are just able. Just holding it to the <laughs> sky, right? You're waiting for that. <laughs> Come in here, Kaylee. I dare you. Oh, man. That's kind of, I mean, that's what I've been waiting for, Tiff. Like, you got to just, like, hang out in one of these buildings, have your tonfas set up, or maybe, like, a suppression mine. That could be a great thing to have as well. You get them caught in it. Next thing you know, you got a couple tonfas. You're flinch resisting them. Uh, it could be game over. I love how she's checking her back, though, just to make sure no <laughs> yeah. random ducks are just chasing her at this point. And that could be the fact that we have high alert being triggered from also the hunters. But for now, oh, just a gap. mere few Where? players left in the game. Where I'm at. Up top, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, he opened the door. He peeked out. No. Oh, no. Four or three of them. Some, there's a lot in here. Okay, they have to push out. There's no, a lot of ducks okay. in here. <laughs> no, I like that. No one just goes in. He's like, wait, there's a lot of them in here. What are we going to do? And they're just going to kind of back on up. Maybe try and get some of the uh, wall bangs going. Sally on the other side, though, was able to get the armor crack on one of them. Has a gas mask, so... Maybe he can start flying on Ooh. in here. <laughs> Just oh. the heads that he knows! Oh, no! Not Sally! Not that by, by Shifty. Shifty! What is that violence with the Tonfa, bro? 
I can't. I mean, listen, if there's anybody who's a duck that's going to try and go for an elimination, we know it's shifty. He's not going to go down without a fight. Baits her into it, finally able to grab one. Only a couple of teams remaining, though, here. Tiff. My question is, is it only our hunters left? We need a hunter recall here. Come on, roll call up into the center. Five's not bad. Like a little start. 16 for Selly and Ban. 16 for Huskers and Blur. Shady and Novato have done a really good job of trying to kind of... The Hunters win. They take Woo! down all of the Ducks. Albeit, though, we saw some Hunters lose. We, we did see some Hunters get taken out. The Ducks tried to do their best to be able to win. But unfortunately, the Hunters at the end of the day are the ones being able to come out on top. A very kind of solid game number one, Tiff, though. But I think that both the Ducks and the Hunters have learned some things that they want to maybe bring in into that game number two, because I don't think we were, anybody was really expecting that many vehicles on the sure. map, man. It was insane. And I think the most difficult part about everyone being in vehicles is trying to disseminate like which is a hunter which is a duck sure. and that is tough because yeah it, it, yeah i mean if you see the duck skin that will help you know it's pretty vibrant it's pretty large if i see someone in a vehicle driving by and it's just a duck face staring at me like <laughs> i'm just in full pursuit similar to what we saw shady and Nevado doing yeah, I mean, that was kind of great, right? We saw Shady and Nevado just kind of pulling out. It looked like a campaign mission leaning outside of the vehicle, trying to get the tags in where they could. Uh, you know, everybody trying to do their best. We saw the one duck with the Harkonnen sword just saying, come on in, bring <laughs> yeah. it to me. Did not manage to make that happen. So I'm hoping that maybe some of the ducks get a little bit more aggressive because if I'm any of them, sit inside, just camp as many as you can in one of yeah. those buildings, right? We kind of heard some prox chat being used. That's a tool you have at your disposal to maybe rally your fellow ducklings, maybe to bring down some of the <laughs> hunters. Motivate them. Yeah, motivate. <laughs> Do we have any more bread around here that we can maybe motivate the ducks with? Because we're motivating the hunters. That's great. But maybe we'll see if we can do the same with the, uh, you know, with the ducks here. Just someone, one duck in the prox chat. Hello, fellow ducks. I am the one true duck and all of you must follow me. We are going to revolt against our hunters. <laughs> It is now or never the time has come. Now, granted, hey, we might see that in map number two, but for map number one, we did get to least witness Shifty taunting down Sally. Now, that's a moment that I could run back in slow-mo because you see him, he peeks, disappears, and the next thing you see is the taunt yeah. in hand just going for it. If you've never gotten meleeed in Call of Duty Warzone, all yeah. it takes is one. All it takes is one hit, and then you are almost guaranteed the knock. I mean, how many times if we jumped in and it's like immediately yep. off rip, just somebody with a pistol, you're trying to hip fire them. And it's just like, nope, two whacks at the head with a pistol. You are taken out. Same thing with those tonfas. They also, they like stun you somehow. They like stun lock you at the same time. It's so tough. So I hope we kind of see more people catch on to that. I love that we see maybe some differences in melee weapons. I love that we're seeing the Harkonnen sword mm -hmm. being able to, to kind of get in there. We also have the gladiators, which just got added in. I want to see somebody using the King Kong fist personally. That's what I'm waiting to see somebody get elimination with. I love that thing. It's just hilarious to watch somebody using this big gorilla fist on somebody. Yeah. It's just insane. Can someone please? But for the time being, let's go ahead and run back that clip on which we were mentioning. And true, if you do get Tonfud, you all will feel the pain. Not only does it break your nose, but it hurts your pride. Yeah. And I love that it's Selly too, right? Like it is just trying to do something, make something happen here. It says, okay, great. Let me come on over. Oh, wait. And I love this. Shifty just basically taunts and then bang <laughs> yes. immediately off of the jump of wild and you know shifty doing shifty things but i love that at least band was right there to kind of wrap up the elimination yeah. the reason selly went so hyper aggressive in that moment is because huskers and blur they were on 16 duck eliminations that's how many they found they were truly living wow. up to the standards they must have practiced duck hunter in the past regardless they came in they showed out so they needed that one duck elimination on shifty to at least tie it up yeah, I mean, and that's kind of what it comes down to. Huskers and obviously their duo just doing a great job of just, uh, you know, kind of finding those eliminations early. Very quickly on, we saw Huskers and Blur had eight uh, as composed to everybody else who was just sitting at one or two. Selly and Band finally able to kind of, you know, do some work, come back online. It was interesting to me that we saw like all of the Hunters land cargo 
right? Like, yeah. I, I, it was weird that like all of them landed in the same area. I, you'd think they'd be a little bit more like spread out if they needed to be. So hopefully we're, you know, kind of map number two. Some of the ducks will take their learnings from being hunted. So that way they can be able to be the better hunter. That's true. We'll have to go tally the scores, see what came out on top. Now, granted, if someone does end up with the same amount of duck eliminations as another hunting squad, they will just have to essentially split that evenly. But for the time being, ah. we will be hopping into a short break. We got to get things queued up on the back end before we bring you guys map number two.
And we're back. It's duck hunting time. We got the fifty thousand dollar quack hunt online here. And well, if you just missed out on map number one, you might want to go run it back because things are getting interesting. But for us, we've got to jump into map number two, Dandro. And honestly, based off of what we witnessed from map number one, think we'll see any changes? I hope we see changes. That's just all I'll see. I, I was in our Discord and I said, please stop using meta weapons. Give me something spicy to talk about. Bottom War, so did you make a good point? Say, hey, $1,000 per map, that'll do it to you. And that is a really good point, right? So I think you're going to see maybe some people have to balance that of like, what is the weapon they feel the most confident that they can find those eliminations in versus what maybe gives them what they, uh, you know, need to uh, take out some of those unique scenarios like things like, you know, kind of vehicles. Maybe you want to try and wall bang people if they're just sitting inside of a room. So I think hopefully we see a little bit of change. Will we? Well, that is let to be said because we have five brand new hunter duos here, yep. Tiff, that are going to be trying to do their best to come out on top and do a little bit more than we saw Huskers and Selly do in that game number one. Look, they were frying. They both hit at least 16. So once those numbers kind of get shaken out, we'll let you guys know stats after map number two. But for our new hunters that will be kind of who will be following for map number two, it's Soka and Metalcore, Swisham and It's Magoo, Tommy and Yunrik, Castillo and Verdict, Zyro and Salt. Now, I think we've got some content right here, Dandro. That's all I'm gonna say. We have some content yeah. hunters and I'm excited. Yeah, we have a lot of hunters who I think are gonna give us some good moments, some good laughs to be able to have. I, I'm kind of hoping people spread out a little bit more. We don't need everybody going True. cargo yet again. Uh, but one thing I do kind of want to know, right? We talked at the top of the show about how useful those hidden caches can be. We saw youngsters hit that first cache and immediately got a loadout marker. That's yeah. great. You don't have to spend the cash on it. And another thing that we saw Shady doing that I hope maybe some of those other teams maybe have the idea of or maybe saw it happen, putting stuff like bouncing Bettys down on those natural loadout spawns that some of our ducks are going to be going to. That one he used it on was unfortunately kind of very quickly going to be out in gas. But if you're more closer to zone, I think that that could be a really, really funny sort of tool to be able to use. Maybe pick up uh, just, uh, some, some errant duck kills if you need. Hey, you're going to need all the kills, especially if you're vying for $1,000 to have the most duck eliminations as your hunted duo. That's $500 a piece, which is really not bad for one game hunting no. ducks, to be real. But they did get some rule clarifications because we did have a lot of our ducks and hunters kind of asking questions. We saw a lot of vehicles in map number one, and it was, can ducks use vehicles? Yes, 100%. Yeah. But you cannot run over hunters with them. <laughs> Specifically, the only way you can harm a hunter is through the use of melees, which we witnessed in map number one. It's gotta either be a melee from a weapon that you're holding or a melee weapon, right? So uh, I think we will we'll be able to see here that that vehicle ruling, I'm glad it came through because otherwise it'd just be so easy to for the ducks to see. You know, everybody's oh, yeah. gonna be clamoring for those vehicles, right? Just be able to get them. Uh, maybe we would see a little bit more duck on duck action if that was the case, unfortunately, but. Uh, I don't think that will be happening. But other than that, if you're a duck, kind of the only things you can't use are also either the stealth vests or ghosts. But other than that, kind of everything else is fair and open game for you. If you're a hunter as well, hey, just no launchers. It's kind of the only thing you got to worry about on that side. So other than that, though, yeah, it's open game. So get weirder than Get a little creative. Get a little interesting. Shady with those Akimbo WSP stingers in hand and uh, just kind of trying to use them and use the, the big mag on them just to kind of run at some ducks and be able to take them down. He was also one of the only people that we had witnessed grabbing a cat AMR, whether that was the legendary one off the ground or if that was his loadout, I'm not 100% sure because we didn't get to witness him picking that up. Regardless, that allows you to cover the distance if you are duck hunting from afar. You're just perched up on your mountain because a lot of high ground to give you that information and you just snipe some ducks, honestly, I want to see that. Listen, but those ducks, they've been evasive. I'm from duck hunting country. And if there's anything I know, you got to go find yourself a tree stand, even though that's not how you hunt ducks, but whatever. True. You just go along, with the, go along with the imagery I'm putting out here. You got to find here. a nice little tree stand, get one of those snipers in hand, and be able to take some of those ducks out of the air. We did see huskers mm -hmm. finding a duck in their natural habitat of water, as it was True. Tommy who was there. And we saw him just kind of chasing him down, bringing him a fill to the final moments of his life uh, there as a duck. So maybe we'll see a little bit more of that as well. I like that Tom tries to make that understanding of like, maybe I can outswim you here. Maybe I can make something happen, but it's kind of hard when you got Huskers with a, a pistol in his back pocket trying to hunt you down while you're just trying to swim.
I had no idea Huskers was such a good swimmer, but that's one of the things that I did learn in map number one. So, I mean, look, if you are in the water, just know Huskers is going to win. I don't know why, but he covered so much ground on Tommy. It was insane. Maybe we can get some decoys. That's what we need. Ooh. Maybe we can get some, maybe some Little decoy grenades decoys? could go out. Maybe, I don't know. Get some decoys that we can put on some of the, the water areas around the map. If you are one of the hunters, that would be kind of cool. Maybe you can use some of the duck uh, if you do get some eliminations of those ducks, you can use those as just decoys. Just their bodies. Like, yeah. Just like hide by the dead, the dead duck. I mean, sure. Sure. I was also thinking. I wish the inflatable decoy would come up and be the duck. You know Ooh. what I mean? Imagine. Could you imagine if that was the case? Like it just took your operator skin as well, so then you just threw inflatable decoy ducks everywhere. <laughs> That'd be so good. I actually, that's such a great point. I actually, now that I think about it, I wish the inflatable decoy did use your skin just because A, I feel like we have like a lot of really good skins now in the game that I think would just be like funny to be able to use and maybe would actually make it a little bit more believable to use as an item. Yeah. So yeah, if you were a jump ducking, scare for sure. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, we saw that one duck just holding up a sword in the the sort of doorway oh. there, having another one just kind of sitting there. Mike, Mike, spooky, give you the opportunity to get the jump on one of those hunters, get those points. I don't know. A lot of things to consider here. A lot of things to consider, but all I know is the hunter that gets the most, you get a thousand dollars. Now, I don't care how you are achieving the duck eliminations, whether or not that you're stringing them together, you're hunting them down early on, because if you think about it, win the map, you're starting ring one, everyone is going to just be hiding. So yep. as the zone closes in, someone that might have had a good hiding spot that has to move, I think that's why we saw a lot of our hunters on kind of that edge of gas looking for people making their moves. Because you want to be dead center every single time, at least. But if that's not a good spot, then and the circle's pulling kind of out of your favor. Because think of the zones. We've been casting a lot of Warzone, right, on Urzikstan. Yeah. Think of the zones that we've seen in Endgame. A lot of Old Town, a lot of Low Town, and a lot of area west of Pop-Off Power, which are those open hills with a couple fence lines. That seems to be kind of the most prevalent endings that we've witnessed. And if you're trying to hide in those open fields, it's going to be really tough. Yeah, it's going to be really, really difficult. That's when I kind of hope that, you know, you're able to kind of have some smokes. You've been able to store some. You're kind of kind of use them to be able to do whatever you can to hang out. But we did see some players at the end there did have some thermal scopes on their yeah. weapons. So even if you do try and run this sort of smoke uh, gameplay, if you are a duck, some of our hunters might just, if they're being a little bit smart, yeah, throw on that thermal. I think that's a fantastic idea to kind of help counteract that play. But also, it's just great, even if you're just kind of quickly scanning an area, you see a duck on a thermal, you say, hey, okay, great, there's somebody there. I immediately know that I can start pushing that building. Speaking of pushing buildings, we kind of witnessed that at the end with Selly and uh, Band, right? They jump into the building, start looking for the amount of ducks, and they're just like, wait, there's way too many ducks in here. You do not want to be kind of in an area where you are significantly outnumbered by the ducks because they <laughs> will riot with their tonfas and they will take you down. We saw just how quickly Selly fell to the tonfa in that replay clip and Honestly, you cannot be cut off guard. And I think that's where it's scary when you're looking to clear out the buildings is you can be completely caught off guard. Yeah, I mean, and we even saw kind of at the end there where Noah Sunday was like, you saw him go in, he's like, yeah, there is yeah. Uh, three ducks upstairs. I'm I'm not yep. pushing that. I don't need to go Good. in on it. And you know, hey, I appreciate it, right? Sometimes you just got to realize, obviously Noah Sunday, a fantastic, you know, mobile creator. It may be a little bit out of their element here on the PC console <laughs> side of Warzone. So not feeling super confident in their abilities as somebody who plays primarily only PC console Warzone. I don't know if I would even try and push into that or even any of our other hunters would. So good reads out of that, but it kind of brings up your point, right? Like if you have some of those ducks who are able to stick together, it could be a sight for sore eyes because man, that is the last thing you want if you're a hunter is kind of just check a room and next thing you know, you're getting confident in the back. You know, that's kind of one of my worst nightmares thanks to Rebirth Island and now here because of ducks wielding tonfas. If I have a nightmare about this tonight, I'm I'm thinking Warzone Total Frenzy and Call of Duty because things get crazy. Now, granted, hey, chat, just want to give you guys a quick update. We're still working on getting map number two kind of locked and loaded. We will be jumping to a quick break to short that out. And when we come back, we will be bringing you straight back in to gameplay. See you in a minute.
What's up everyone and welcome back to the $50,000 quack cunt. First and foremost, thank you guys so much for your patience in chat. I appreciate it. We had some steam things going through on the back end. We love a good maintenance session, right Dandro? I mean, listen, I have nothing I love more than having to be forced to just take a break. And well, steam <laughs> said, you guys gotta chill a little bit. You got too much going on over there. So that's what too we did. Ducks. Getting back ready into it. Game number two, getting ready to get started. It is. We are getting ready to start. Before we go ahead and jump into map number two, let's go ahead and touch base on the leaderboard so you can see how map number one shook out. Who won? As you can see, first and foremost, when we last had witnessed, our admins were still tallying, and it looked like it was a close race between Selly and Band and Huskers and Blur. But at the end of the day, that final duck elimination netted Selly and Band the $1,000 because they were the best hunting squad from map number one. But things to note here, Shifty and Lotex have a lot of points, Dandro, and they were not the hunters. Yeah, 13 points. We know that at least five of those came from that elimination we saw Shifty get. So obviously, you know, kind of coming down those eight points, I believe were probably on there uh, because of some of their placement as well as maybe, uh, if I had to guess, maybe another elimination that was there as well so kind of just goes to show though as a duck squad they're up there near the top already i believe i also saw tifa jesse and, and gemini down there at the bottom with negative two uh as Fair. well so maybe a little duck on duck action happening across the map there not what you want ending map number one in the negatives you think it can't get worse than zero but oh my gosh it can it can get worse. You can actually go negative, but here is your chance in map number two to start out with maybe a fresh perspective. We chatted who would be oh, our hunters no. for map number two. Oh, yeah, and yeah, well, to Swish, yeah, yeah, yeah. she's going to be one of them and her I'm hunter friend in hunter no? already in the gulag. I don't know. I don't already know. in the That's gulag. We'll be able to hopefully make something guys? happen as they are over it's here. I mark it in the kind of a downtown early uav from swish he sees a lot of people around him i mean if i see dots on the map i'm flying here yeah, yeah. tiff like what do you got has a precision airstrike maybe that'll catch one but like i understand you only have a shotgun in the back but who cares they're running at teams they can't do anything all they can do is melee you that's what you think but it sounds like magu here on youtube kind of got taken advantage of by the ducks early on it sounds like the ducks were bolted and landed on him immediately <laughs> the ducks have revolted immediately. An immediately uprising of the waterfowl has occurred here on the map in Urzikstan onto uh, its Magoo. So maybe they will see some other, uh, I don't know, some other things happening as well. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Shift. Swish just kind of taking her time though right now. Doesn't want to really do anything super crazy. Just kind of looting. We've got to win. Shit, shit. We've got to win. Sorry, and we... sorry, sorry. <laughs> she's, she's apologizing at least, you know, just some immediate <laughs> shots. And it's one of those things that you're just so accustomed to, right? Oh, you yeah. see someone and you just want to open fire. Now, that's the scary thing. That's a negative 10. You said when you think you can't get worse, you can. That's negative 10. And at the time being, they have three points. They would have went straight to negative seven. <laughs> I love how she starts shooting it immediately. She's like, oh, no, please, no. Even tries to drop. <laughs> some plates for them as well but unfortunately not oh and here's something interesting tom gets the down he's gonna go for the uh the interrogation and that's huskers tommy getting some revenge from game number one baby no it's him it's him oh it's him huskers the duck oh gosh you love to see it. You love a full circle <laughs> moment, a full <laughs> duck <laughs> moment. Oh gosh. Come on over, Soka and Metalcore. As they're trying to find maybe somebody below them. There is another hunter that you see Soka taking a look at up here at construction in the downtown area. A lot of players There's could be in these buildings guys, below. Like, Looks like maybe somebody flying back on in, but Soka just kind of hanging out. Now. Up top does have this ground loop Bruin that he does spot anyone can definitely take them on down with very very quickly but oh wait okay looks below those are two of the other hunters all right good he does see uh well there was a there was a duck there at one point not anymore though it's just all the parachutes have me so accustomed to immediately looking around and if you are a hunter playing on top of other hunters it's tough right, right? Stop them. yeah just 
out here? Any ducks? Not seeing any. But for now, we'll jump on Bora, Casillo, and Verdict to see if they make their move. Verdict has already made their way over towards Cargo. So looking to rejoin up with the squad. But I mean, look, this is tough, right? You want to get Ariel and you want to get into the action. And well, Tommy's found another duck. Two more, bro. And I believe that was Peachy, if I'm not uh, mistaken. If I see that in the kill feed as well. So Tommy kicking things off already with three. We see the loadout come on in. See, this is how weird people are, right? You know how I randomly just chased Huskers out of the sky? Yeah. People from his chat, or a couple from his chat, came I've over seen, and said that he didn't I stream sniped him. Yep. yep. <laughs> oh, come on, bro. He's wearing so a funny, big old bro. duck skin. <laughs> what do you mean? To be fair, yeah, the yeah, chances of that happening are wild, right? We have like 50 duck players that are in here, and the fact that the one duck that Tommy decides to chase out of the sky ends up being Huskers <laughs> is a little crazy. Like, that coincidence happening is wild. If you, if you have. A, oh, oh, shit. Oh no! Behind me. Oh no! Not youngsters from behind. We were talking about that, right? You have to be very hyper aware. You go through a building, just like potentially Saul did, and the next thing you know, the hunted, the hunters become the hunted, and that is frightening to me. Because if you turn around and the duck is getting closer, right? They're all using the bath time operator skin, which is basically this massive duck. And they have been running Tompas. They have been running Karambits. They have been running everything. That was youngsters using the Gladiator, the new melee weapon out of And of course, this season's battle pass. So not surprised to see that in use. It's definitely pretty crazy, to be honest with you. Uh, it's kind of one of those things that it was. It reminds me of when like, the Tompas got released. Uh, everybody's using it and it is crazy. Swish. Grabs a UAV. There's a couple of pings. I know that there's some players over there in that building as well as another one. So she's going to go ahead and start flying on over. But this has me a little bit worried, Tiff, because you know that in these tall buildings, you can either... Some of them have a staircase on the outside, but most of them have some sort of elevator zip line that you got to go up on the inside. And well, you have a couple moments where you don't have control of your character at the top. Maybe you have some ducks sitting there with some melee weapons. That'd be a bad time. All the ducks in a row, melee weapons out. What are you doing? Sounds like Maggie over here, kind of asking for some help. I've got some ducks in their sights, and well, Swish is just trying to get there. We provide a little bit of support. She hears can't them. Can't seem to get there. Can't oh, seem to get her eyes on him, but for this duck, this game, dodging. Look, oh, I will you. say, oh, nice. I love that Tifa is out here going Anywhere. side to side. Anywhere. A lot of people learned in can, Game uh, of Thrones uh, real quickly. Right? You do not run in a straight uh, yeah, line you can, you can, in an can, open can. field. Okay. You got to zigzag. Got a zigzag. So yeah, obviously the better solution there. Tommy on to four. Gonna maybe hit this by get another yeah. UAV if I had to guess. There you go. Feeling good. Castillo, other side. Able to find Pinkify. Takes them down. And we're seeing that thermal come in on the AR. Like we've seen from a couple of players, right? So you're seeing the usefulness of it, especially in the water right there. That is huge. You can see Blur is on the bounty kind of across yeah, over there that. towards old town they haven't decided to push on over so just I mean? yet but uh, yeah, yeah. one thing i want to notice here tiff it is definitely a lot more even across the board right we saw huskers kind of pulling away with it in map number one but now hey we're seeing three three kills tommy and, and Enrique. they're on four seems to be castillo Pretty and verdict soft, the right? only ones that need to kind of play catch up under the bridge we go lost out on Saul earlier but it didn't deter huskers in the early map number one when they lost out they just tried to kill me though by the way on their hunting partner but for Yanrique here falls a little low starts circling trying to get away from the duck there's someone next to you it's like someone else okay kind of playing on the side they know that somebody's over here Enrique just slowly but surely clearing out these buildings. I think this is smart, right? Because how many times have we seen where one of these hunters, they think that they're A-OK, -okay, and well, next thing you know, you could have a duck maybe pop dead silence or something just running behind you. And the second they get one of those hits off from the melee, it is done and dusted. Oh, my God. I see one. I see one. You good. Don't worry. Oh, man. 
almost just destroys the hunter, bro. That's a negative 10 and a big mistake. And you hear Tommy kind of fly in, right? He's like, I see one. I thought it was like a duck. And we don't have plates. That's tough, right? Especially if, you know, one hit can change the game here. But back on over to Castillo. Finding people from afar and just trying to keep on the move. Wanting that aerial sight. Utilizing that kind of extended outlook. But back to Yanrique able to get his sights on that duck. That was causing him a little bit of pressure. It's one more in front of me. Oh, well, I like Another this. Duck. We're seeing some smokes get invested in Castillo with that thermal. Trying to be able to see, is anybody hanging out inside those smokes? Anybody trying to play yeah, a little bit cheeky angle here? Doesn't look Jordan like it. Tommy currently sitting already at seven. Yeah, or maybe yeah, our scoreboard man. a little bit behind, which is A-okay. You good. You can just push on if you want. Nice. Just looking through. Yeah, I think it's smart, right? That gas starting to kind of collapse and you want to keep oh, apprised no, 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 of any ducks that might be leaving their nest. Do ducks have nests? I don't... Look, I it's been do. a minute. I'm in the south. We see a lot of things, but ducks, when you're a gamer and you stay inside a lot, are not one of the things that I see a lot. <laughs> I feel like Castillo was just like, do I do it? <laughs> do I take the hit? <laughs> On the points I there, but... I want someone to take the hit on the points. Uh, I want a little bit of violence into the chaos that we've been witnessing. For Zyro, looks like he picks up another one, but that's going to be so cool. it's a hunter to join up his next side. But honestly, is that Castillo? I feel like I remind his operator's skin from what we've seen throughout the map number two, and it looks familiar. Yeah. Zyro jumps off the top. Looks like they're going to kind of move on through. Now, here's something that'd be interesting to me is, you know, we're seeing a lot of players, they're, they're trying to figure out where these ducks are hanging out inside the buildings, but when you kind of get over to this side of the map, you have these radio towers that are just kind of around here. Hit a redeploy zip, maybe just go prone on the top and hopefully that they don't actually look up at you, right? Especially if one of those ends up being kind of deeper into the zones, kind of go and play hide a little bit because even if they pop a UAV, they're like, oh, he's on the ground, cool. And they're gonna go for it, right? You're only gonna get that directional indicator if you are so lucky. So hopefully they can be able to get that. Zyro grabs a big game bounty. And that's actually going to go to Yanrique. I don't know why you would pick that up. Maybe just kind of, you know, muscle memory to be able to have that. But at least he'll get an idea of where Yanrique is on the map. Well, see, that's why I was curious. Because he goes, hey, if I pick up this big game bounty. And I was like, oh, surely that's going to grab a hunter. And look who's staying in the action. Absolutely merciless against these ducks. I know, but I mean, still... It's pretty violent. You know, they don't have any guns. They just got melee weapons, but we've seen how brutal those weapons actually can be can you die when it like comes to retaliation vehicle? against uh, the hunters. Uh, yeah, you just have to be smart about it. You gotta be a smart yeah. duck. Uh, damn, so I should probably hop off if I can. Ooh, Tommy, uh, see somebody in a helicopter. Uh, damn, I, I'm afraid to hop Assumes it's a duck, to gets in some good off. shots, but look at all these pings. I mean, look at this side. Right? Knows that there's going to be people trying to hang out into the water. And Tommy immediately trying to fly on over here. Finds one. Yeah, here goes some shots. And he is now a shark. But wait, this duck kind of trying to oh, eat Jack. Peachy! Peachy wants the action, bro. She was like, oh, no. We're not even going to try. Let we're not swimming away from this. You mentioned the heat check. She was ready. She really wanted to try to get those melees up. He didn't even hesitate, though. I'm hoping no one no. Oh, are we getting some Kenny Powers action? Okay, Tommy. What a deep cut reference to Kenny Powers. Uh, insane. I was going to say wave race. And you sure. went with an actual professional. <gasps> Swish! <laughs> okay. I got, I got a little uh, a little scary there for a second. Youngsta's almost able to bring down Swisham. Unfortunately, not going to be able to get there. Youngsta sent out. Swish doing a good, solid job. Only on three so far, which is a little surprising, to be honest with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this is where it gets a little bit weird, Tiff, because look at how much water is in this circle. And, you know, if you're a duck, you can just kind of sit out here on the edge. You can force the hunters to come to you. But you might be able to create some space for your fellow ducklings if you do that. It's true. But you're, when you're a lone hunter, you've already lost out 
on your duo. You've got to cover as much ground as possible. We did see the pings here, but it could just be hunters taking some rogue shots. But back on over to Zyro, cleaning out the house of ducks. I want to see like the best duck elimination of the day. I'm really curious who that, what that's going to look like, or maybe a duck elimination against Ooh. a hunter. Zyro saw somebody fly in over here and immediately starts making the hops over. Trying to see, are they going to stay up on top or did they run this inside? So this is a fight, scary know, door. Have, like, crazy melee weapons. <laughs> That's true. You've got to be a little thoughtful about how we do this, but when you're catching ducks on the playground, well, that's an easy way to pick them up. You did alright right now, Nine kills. You did alright. Yeah, I, I love that Zyro calls that out, and it's kind of so funny, right? We know that Zyro is this player that, like, likes to play super aggressive, will play really yeah, fast, and go he's kind of going to be like, I don't know if I want to push into this. Maybe. There's ducks with melee weapons, and that has me scared. And you can see, like, you're just kind of, like, checking every door, checking every corner, and be like, is anybody in here? Okay, great. I'm about to get slammed in the back. No? Okay, cool. Gulag closed, too. So if you lose out, you're done and dusted. But back on over to Castillo. At least up as a duo alongside Verdict. Staying towards the high ground, clearing out. Make sure there's no ducks on this train, no snakes on a plane, but perfect. Oh, you're right. Oh, but the duck. Crossing the tracks, won't make it. Why did the duck the... cross the road, Dandro? So why did the duck cross the road? Yeah, why not? I was trying to make a joke, you know. Listen, not, I, I've one. had to stop my vehicle for ducks crossing the road one too many times. So like that's like like you're trying to make a joke, and I'm like, this is a this is a a just this is a valid serious occurrence issue. that happens. This is, this is just nature. So just so up in the northeast, you're getting a lot of ducks on the road. <laughs> Top tier question of the day: Is that a person in the heli or is that a duck? Ooh, Brittany Rains. Okay, I looked like maybe it was the person in the heli. No longer in the heli. Verdict picked up some more. Pretty nice here. Just jumping across, trying to clear out this string of buildings. But once again, it is all vehicle action. And you have to be able to check them to see if they're ducks driving. <laughs> well, here's one. There's lots of smoke in here. It's scary. It's like a haunted house. This is, this is, it's straight up like I was waiting for him to slide cancel down one of those stairs and just immediately start getting jumped by two different ducks if possible. Doesn't look like that's going to happen though. Zyra on the other side. Able to just kind of <laughs> continue this one pretty solid. Uh, we'll find Brolic. Saul has just not been in this game at all. And Zyra is already, you know, not too far behind Tommy. Nah, he's still keeping up the pace. Love that we're going to go ahead and try to grab that UAV. There's a mobile buy station in zone. And you don't have to worry about if someone's necessarily camping or playing for that mobile buy station because the hunters won't typically eliminate you. We might see some shenanigans in day two when the yeah. score line starts to get a little close, but for now, we are good to go. Oh, finds one jumping off the building. He just gets the crack though. Oh, do PRD. it. Wait, where'd the duck go? Uh, could have just dropped back from below. All right, we got this duck. Clear out your corners, check everything over the fences. A duck in a dark corner is a scary thing for Urzikstan. I mean, Zyro, head on a swivel. He's trying to be able to figure out where did these players go? Oh, he finds one in the water though. Where are you? Can you hide? No, you can't. Pinkify. I feel like we watched Pinkify get taken out on this stream like four times by this point. You know, she's living her best life in the water. Most frequenting in the water will be Pinkify. But back on over to Swish. Solo Hunter left standing, just playing this edge of gas, waiting for people to rotate throughout. She was able to put a good bit of damage down there. The elimination does come through. The hype. The energy. You like to see it. Kind of as a duo. There's only like a little bit. See, that's a, that's a little bit dangerous at the mosquito drone though, Tiff, because what if one of these oh. hunters comes near it and you get taken out and next thing you know, it's minus 10. 
That's true. Yeah, I'd be like, that was not that my mosquito drone. Like what do you mean? Not like we have the footage on main or anything. Interesting the switch hits the buy and doesn't buy the teammate back. You can't have the buybacks back, right? Oh, that is true. No that buybacks. Is true. Good point. Good point. I was... Or, yes, 100%. But Wait. for the ducks that were chilling. Oh! The Tomba! Shifty picks up another one. Yeah, he can't bad. keep getting away with this. Oh, my Lord. Oh, wait. And Zyro, I think, is now moving into the same building. You need to be very weary. Yes. There could be one still alive. I don't want to risk it. Yeah, don't risk it. I'd rather just die, you know what I mean? Is that everyone shot? Well, we Zyro, make us some checks. How much, um... How much did Soko and, and Tommy get? How many? I mean, this is a lot closer than game number one. I mean, just looking across the board, right? I mean, obviously, Tommy and Enrique, 14 for them, 12 for Soka and Metal Core, Zyro also for 12. Swisherman, unfortunately, Swisherman and uh, Mago are just a little bit down. Oh, I'm seeing Castillo and Verdict get updated to 14 as well. Might have another uh, come down to the wire. Could be really close here. Just depends on who's actually left, and we'll just wait till we get confirmation that all ducks have been eliminated. Oh, wait a second. Stop. We just gonna we we just gonna kill off the the hunters now. Oh, I think now? they're just trying to end the lobby now at this uh, point. I think hopefully. they're just. Hopefully. Be one, you win this, bro. <laughs> Are we making callouts right now yeah. for them to try and just get the dub? Look, that would kind of be like... cool. Can you imagine as a hunter if you got like an extra point for being the player to win the game? At the very end when all the hunters are left? Yeah. Win we the make ultimate them have fist test. Fights. That's what we should have. Yeah, let's go! <laughs> Good stuff, bro. Hey, they did it to it. I love to see it, but all the shenanigans there in map number two. We're seeing a lot of the ducks just try their hardest to get eliminations onto the hunter. And honestly, Shifty plus Tonfa equals best duo of the day. I mean, yeah, you saw Swisham go in. She was able to find one that player was skimming away, but was just not ready. She had already put a lot of bullets into them, but Shifty was just, you saw ready and waiting and just flew at her in gas with those Tonfas, able to take them down in eighth place. We saw it before when we looked at the leaderboard. Shifty and Lotex, they were uh, already kind of up there, I believe fourth yep. or fifth as a duck in round number one. They're a duck here in round number two, still finding some of those eliminations. I'll be kind of curious to see how does that shake out. Yeah, because we were looking at it after the leaderboard that we showed prior to this match. I think they were sitting at around 13 or so. So picking up another bout of points there for taking out a hunter, which you get five points for taking down a hunter as a duck. If you can grab one or two, because you if you think about it, we have, what, five duos that are essentially mm -hmm. hunters per match. So a total of 10 potential hunter E limbs at five points each. Look, you could be a little villain duck. And I like that. A villain duck. Who knows? Yeah. Love the way you see. I, I think the thing that's also like curious to me is that we're kind of seeing sort of, we saw in that map one, 17 was the top amount of uh, yeah. eliminations. And that one, it looked to be close, right? I mean, somewhere around that 14, 15 mark uh, that's in there. So I kind of expected to be a little bit more tiffed if I'm being honest with you. I kind of expected to see people dropping like 20 bombs each as a duo as they just fly around the map. But maybe people giving a little bit of respect to some of the ducks. Are we are we giving respect to the ducks though? I think they're a little Maybe. less hesitant when it comes to searching in the buildings, right? Because yep. just of how powerful those melee weapons are. You 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 saw multiple hunters go down to like five HP and just start circling laps in the buildings, trying to get away from whatever duck. So we're noticing that the moment they go into the building, there's a very good chance that there's potential for the duck violence against the hunters, because obviously they want the points. But we're witnessing some of the ducks actually take down the the hunters at the very start of the game if you've got i mean what do we call multiple ducks i know it's like a gaggle of geese but what is the duck what is the duck one that's Andrew? that's a i need a quick google that's a google search right there okay cool I'll, I'll let you do that while we come back to it regardless the ducks get in on the action right off the drop if you are just trying to vibe get to the ground grab some weapons get your money up get a good we oh what is it Dandra? I look at that face 
<laughs> I will. Okay, I was confused I, I because it. it's, it's a flock. It's a flock, but it oh. was also saying that they can be called a raft, a brood, a waddling, or a team. I like okay. raft. Raft I is mean, my favorite one of that. Like raft is an R A F T. Raft. Yes. Okay, yes. so the raft of ducks that come together out of the plane to attack our hunters. This feels like an Animal Planet show if I've ever seen one. That's gotta be the weirdest Animal Planet show uh, I think we've ever seen. But okay. hey, we saw Tommy follow a duck immediately out of the plane. Maybe yes. you're onto something. Maybe that's the ducks need to kind of reverse it. Because remember, they can yeah. melee with a pistol in their hand. So how many times in just normal BR does that just happen anyway? If you're the That's ducks, true. follow one of those hunters off rip and try and go for the melees. If you're a duo, pick out one singular hunter. Both of you going in, yeah. hey, as long as one of you stays alive and doesn't get full, you can get the revive. You can get them back up. You send the hunter to the gulag. Not a terrible idea. Yeah, okay, so let's say you get five points for your hunter. That is equal to placing first through fifth. Yeah. So at the end of the day, just hedge your bets, take the hunter violence early on, get your five points, and if somehow you live and survive and you can grab another one to three, even five if you're lucky, that is a good game while you're a duck. So I think we might have uncovered the new strat. I hope that's a new strat. I mean, I think that's how we saw, obviously, uh, Shifty was able to get those 13 points in map number one, right? I believe that was two hunter eliminations, some placement points. You're feeling pretty a-okay around that one so uh it feels like it's pretty solid already now chat we do need to let you know something we yes. are gonna have to of course replay map number two we're just getting worse for our amazing admin team just because unfortunately we did have some people who aren't in the tourney somehow make it into the game they were going ahead they were causing some chaos they were a bad actor so unfortunately we are gonna have to go ahead and replay map number two so what we're gonna do we're gonna go to a quick little break and when we come back we are going to be hopping into that replay of map number two.
What's up everyone and welcome back to the $50,000 quack hunt. We got our ducks in a row and we should be just about to get map number two underway. But Dandro, of all the things we have seen, it's the Tonfas that have yeah. been the biggest nemesis to our hunters. Tonfa MVP for sure. Mainly a kind of shifty, shifty Tonfa MVP realistically. I feel like he's the only person we've actually seen on broadcast as a yeah. duck be able to get some of those eliminations so i don't know our players have been getting iced a little bit just due to some conflicts that we've been sorting out on the back end and uh maybe they're just gonna get antsy and just be like you know what yeah we can wait we can hide why not let's just go ahead fly on in start trying to swing start swinging speaking of we're rerunning that map number two so you will see a lot of the same hunters as just witnessed this time Keep your eyes on Team Castillo, Zyro, Tommy, Swish, Soka. Swish's biggest uh, villain was actually that boat that I saw <laughs> on the timeline that just kind of switched up to join the ducks. Yeah. Uh, apparently there is a, uh, you know, bought and paid for by the ducks to go against uh, Swish here. Please go look at it on her Twitter because, oh my gosh, it was probably the funniest thing I've seen in a while. Uh, her getting taken out by uh, one of the boats, but... Hey, here we go. Replay of map number two. It, it didn't start out great for Swish and uh, Magoas. Oh, wait. Oh, my God. Wait. There are two ducks waiting for her to try to hit this ladder. And they're not letting oh, her no! come up. <laughs> she outworks the first duck. She carries forward, able to get the crack. But, man, let me just tell you that duck had hands, wings, whatever. Flap it up. It's another one. It, it, it was looking at us. Over like, here, he's, over he's, here. He's here. He's here. I mean, sometimes those ducks do look at you and they just judge you. You ever stare at eyes? You ever locked eyes with a duck? It's terrifying. Okay. Now. Oh, there's one behind Ooh, here. There's, there's two. two. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, it's like we're playing whack a mole, except now we're playing whack a duck. Whack a duck on over to Tommy's side. We loot up, find a nice self res there. And it seems like a lot of our hunters do tend to kind of navigate around the tallest sides of these buildings here in the city. But a good reposition here to see if we can spot any ducks down below on Urzikstan, which to be fair, the ducks on Urzikstan are brutal. They are the most aggressive ducks I have ever seen or heard of. Well, you know, they do say you actually are not supposed to uh, feed ducks bread because it kind of builds this expectation on them. And then they do get a little ornery if you don't feed them bread anymore. So, well, some of these ducks, they've already been hunters. So now they didn't get their chance to earn bread. So they're a little angry. So they're going to start fighting back. Not surprised to see that. Tommy pops up off the top of this building looking to just make something happen. There's a vehicle going by. I think he assumes that's probably another hunter. Just trying to rotate through the map as he takes to the skies. Maybe trying to be a hawk. I don't know if there's any bird on bird action that happens in actual nature, but I see some people below him that are running around. I don't know uh, if those I were all hunters, but hunter. I don't know. That is another hunter. Yeah, Good shout there, Tommy. Damn. Soka and Metalcore are a pair, but looks like Swish and Mango have already oh, found yeah, a few uh, eliminations. No Same with Tommy and Enrique. We'll and Zyro way. picks up one. Yeah, driving, bro? I don't even know what He's driving. Oh, those are some of the craziest you ducks, man. They get behind the wheel and they just turn into another character. I think ducks could still drive if they hopped in a vehicle. I mean, you'd have to have multiple ducks. One on the, the gas pedal, one controlling the steering wheel. No, I think that'd be okay. You trust ducks that much? Yeah, I think you just move the seat up a little bit. You're you're doing fine. This is actually something that's really interesting. So we see that there is this black site key, which you know that you can go to that black site and get some uh, UAVs from it if you wanted to. Might be a waste of time to make it happen, but I don't know. Maybe just grab it, see where it pulls, and then next thing you know, you could just kind of get some free stuff if you wanted to. If you happen to find yourself on that side of the map. Not a bad idea. You can even let uh, Yenrique go over and try and do it, right? If they're not feeling super confident in their abilities to find yeah, their kills, but hey, go kill this juggernaut. Go get some of that loot. Get us some cash that we need. But it looks like there is the natural loadout spawn that will come on through. Tommy's going to make his way on over here. I think that might have been a duck that rolled up and then kind of decided maybe needed to roll away. Just waddle away. Like, this is no longer a safe place when you see multiple loadouts. 
Yeah, so now basically Tommy's found himself in the open area. No other zips to kind of traverse Urzik stand by high ground to see if he can find any more. But Castillo into the early action. Oh. But look at what happens. Gets a little stun locked there, but still able to grab that knock onto pink. I'm the great. Yeah, I feel like if you are the Ducks trying to make that happen, you definitely need to try and hit the double stun like at the same time. So that way they just can't even move. And the next thing you know, you're just able to kind of slide cancel around them. They can't aim in at you. They can't just sort of hip fire you. And well, next thing you know, they're getting beat down. But Castillo doesn't let that happen. Spots another one up in the crane as well. So just kind of continuously moving on here at cargo. Not smart to climb up on a duck, but... Enrique keeping on the move there with the vehicles. Tommy finally, after a lull period, finds a duck at long shot. I feel like, you know, if you can find ducks from that far away, I got to open my eyes and put on some glasses. <laughs> I mean, these ducks are there sometimes hard to find. You know? That's very true. Back to the sky as we go for Castillo. Sitting on three for themselves. Yeah, I get that UAV. See what's going on around here. But at least the hunters are a little more spread out, it feels like, this map. Yeah. And you can see Soka just kind of wants to play the middle of the map right now, which I don't think is a bad idea. Just trying to figure out where can he... Right now. Holy shit, I gotta go find him. <laughs> Soka doesn't even have one duck. And Not I a do single like this. duck. Look at his, uh, some of the perks here, Tiff. Has Tracker, which I think is really, really clutch. You know, especially if you're trying to fight some of these ducks in the the smoke, you know? I think it's, it's definitely something to kind of look at. If you have Tracker, you can just, you know, kind of keep a good tabs on where those players are and be able to take them on down. So hopefully Soka can kind of make something happen right now because you can kind of hear it. He was a little frustrated. Yeah, this is your big chance to try and rack up as many points as possible because that's where you're going to be relying unless you, as a duck, are able to tonfa a hunter. And right now, that duck looks like it is about to choose violence. Okay, I like the idea. Hops in, does have the Bruin in hand. It's in some tags, but I don't know if those players... I think they're continuing to drive on through... Man, I wish he had just somehow been with Tommy because if they were both in the same vehicle, that is an easy elimination. Easy elimination, but for Tommy, still trying to take down the players in the helicopter, at least disable it. Still doesn't have a whole lot of cash to be able to kind of like... to be a hunter in the very first game. Chain UAVs. Yeah. Because then Ooh. you get to like... Everyone, no one has really any idea how they want to play it, you know? Play, uh... I mean, that's very true. This is something we were talking about, how the meta will kind of shift oh, no, throughout our games. Someone's going to spot someone doing the something, and they're like, that's 100% what we need to do. And then the rest of the games just start leveling up in difficulty. I have nobody to kill because everyone's just in helis. There's this guy in a heavy yeah. chopper. Yo, yo. Not the heavy chopper. <laughs> Not the heavy <laughs> chopper. That's what I'm saying. Everybody was like, we need to use meta weapons because we need to get all of the kills. And it's like, brother, you're shooting literal ducks who can't move. Like, you don't need the most meta of meta guns to be able to hit your shots to be able to find them, you know? So, I don't know. I'm waiting for somebody being able to figure out that maybe you need something to help deal with some of these vehicles. Here's a duck. Also, running tracker. Enrique doubles down. Here come the stuns, though. These ducks, they want a piece of Yanrique, oh. and he does able to get the shield crack, and this player still trying to put on the skates and move. Anymore? There's yeah, yeah, nowhere to go. No, I think they, they escape. They probably are still around, though. Because they're, they're about the ducks here. escaping. I was just trying not to get flashed, because I know they're like... How is he trying to kill me? I like that. And, well, and we come back over to Zyro and Saul teammate also taken out already on. again. Maybe struggling a little bit here on the PC side of things. A-OK. -okay. You have an opportunity yeah, tomorrow when we head to Warzone Mobile and Verdansk to be able to uh, kind of be able to get them back and then get their own yeah, sort of carrying know, going. Zone, but okay. you can see Zyro has this bounty mark. This would be great if he can grab this because hopefully that gives them the space they need and it doesn't go to a hunter. Uh, Jesus Let's see. Can save you. Jesus can save you is not a hunter, so we're good to go on that one. 
Now the hunt begins, but for Tommy, just kind of chaining zips together, making sure he always has a vehicle, just trying to find any semblance of local ducks in the area. But I mean, look, at this point, we don't we need more than a hotline to find ducks in your area. Is that a normal thing? <laughs> at this point on Urzik Do you have a hotline way. for ducks in your area? <laughs> <laughs> We're just gonna make it happen for Urzikstan, all right? Urzikstan you just call and up and you're like, I really, it's beautiful out. I just really want to go look at some ducks in the water today. Do you know where I can do that? And they're like, yes, ma'am, down on Blueberry Creek. It's usually where the ducks like to hang out. You can ah. find a great sighting of them there. Swish them. Okay, thankfully. I thought we were about to see a uh, repeat of what happened in that last game. Doesn't let it happen here, though. She's staying away from the boats, though, which is definitely respectable here for the replay of map number two. But for Zyro, grabs the Hummer, starts kind of looking for more bounties here. Now, look, if you're going to park your vehicle, make sure it's not moving. We've seen a lot of vehicle action, and I would hate for you to knock yourself. Ooh, the smoke's okay. If you need help, let me know. I like this. Kind of backs up. Says if you want to push that zip, the, you can go for it. I'm gonna fry you if you start going up to it. Doesn't let it happen. Castillo on the other side, currently sitting on six. Looks like seven alongside Verdict. So they did grab a bounty. Does get pulled to Hisoka, one of the other hunters. So at least just lets them know where at least Soka is on the map, so they can maybe decide to play on a completely different side if they do so choose. But. Kind of playing the south side of the map. The, Nothing uh, too crazy yet. Yeah, they are your team that is in the lead. Reminder, if you are just tuning in our top hunter squad, the squad with the most eliminations, we'll be walking home with a thousand dollars. And then this is a two day event where the total prize pool is 50,000. The kind of scaling will be 38K. That's the cumulative scoring that our duos are able to get across the two days. Well, granted, we're in day number one. That means six custom maps here oh, on Urzikstan. And wow, <laughs> do we get to see it? I was like, please run it back, Natasha. Tonfa's down Tommy, finds himself in the gulag against another hunter. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Jesus can save you. I don't know why I saw Yenry. It, oh, it's because his teammate. My brain. The ducks okay, got me Tiff. going crazy. Stay okay. C4 up over the top. We'll connect on to Jesus can save you. He sees him hiding in the nice. corner. Some quick little shots. Get Tommy out of the gulag. Back on in. Can hopefully meet up with Enrique and continue to go. But hey, good job from Natasha, though, to be able to use those tonfas. Looks like they're finally starting to learn. You got to bait those hunters in potentially bring them on down castillo though on the other side seeing a lot of people playing in these vehicles trying to get these shots where possible but no downs out of that quick burst but the zone is slowly but surely creeping in tiff your opportunity to use these vehicles is dwindling it really is and if you are a duck using a vehicle you have to make sure you do not run over any hunters or you will be penalized we find another durable gas mask there that's pretty nice for Zyro. Incoming Moby that he just found off the ground is going to immediately sh throw that. Does have cash to buy a UAV, but for Swish, things were looking a little bleak at first, but she was still able to pick up another elimination. And they've got ducks in their sights. Oh, dear. Oh, no. Oh, no. Why, why does it sound like the duck is, like, surrounding her? I know that sounded like an enemy that was super close, but it was just the teammate that was coming on up. But caught one off the zip, which is great, has yeah. now decided to hit it and start immediately flying on in. Duck on the tra no, maybe not. <laughs> Ducks on trains go crazy. The new Still. hit film coming out this summer. Where, where, where? Ducks on a train. In the, in the boat, I mark it. Okay. No, switch not the boat. Yeah, yeah, he, he just... <laughs> let's let's think about this before we hit a boat here, Swisham. We know how those boats like to behave for you. We'll have to check back in later and see if another boat takes her down. But for now, back yeah, on over to Soka. Was upset early on thinking zero kills. He's like, look, I'm sitting on a donut. We can't have this. Put up a couple numbers. And these oh. big ducks are fast. They are. Casilo spots another one. And they're doing a great job just kind of finessing here over at the bizarre side. But we'll be able to catch Band on the stairs. Brings them on down. 
band trying to do their best actually i kind of hyped giving castillo the slip a little bit but well when you get pushed up the stairs and you can kind of just only go one way sometimes it's a little bit hard castillo gonna grab this helicopter start moving throughout the map Yeah, you got to keep moving. Wants to pick up Verdict. Maybe they'll kind of reposition themselves. As you can see, there's plenty of vehicles nearby. The duck train is moving, and Swish is trying to kind of stifle it. Only able to crack some plates there. Honestly, what if it was smart to kind of whittle down the plate count of your fellow hunters? Maybe just shoot them a little bit, make sure they don't have any plates left for that end game, and then less melee by a duck. A little... Is that allowed? <laughs> Good question. Good I'm being question. cheeky here, okay? I'm trying to think as if I'm yeah, actually playing it right now. Someone yeah, if I'm playing this, I mean, the second I would have saw game number one, everybody in vehicles, like I said, I'm, I'm throwing on the most anti-vehicle loadout that's a, that's allowed I can, you know? I think that's what I'd be doing here, and maybe that would actually help some of our hunters. I know I've said this about six times already in this broadcast, but I just feel like that. You know, you got to make some changes. You can't just rely on the metal weapons. Enrique, though, we'll find a duck. No AR down. ammo, though. We're down mm. to 15 bullets for that Bruin. Another one. The modern war zone getting taken out. We are still pretty deep here. There is a lot of this the players still left. Is going to make for a crazy end game with all those players left, too. Like you just see all the vehicles across the bridge. Okay. Looks like there's a massive barricade coming through and she's just trying to fire from a water? distance. I think it's a duck. Duck yeah, in the water. What a, I'm coming, I'm coming. what a call out. Duck in the water. Good? How many duckies are on? Pigs come on through. Metal. Yeah, there's a bunch in this building right here. Yeah, these guys are, I'm going to try oh, to no. steal these kills from these dudes. Are we going in, Metal? Are we going in? Oh. Oh. Oh, that. That's a hunter. <laughs> Gotta be careful. Can't bring them down. Otherwise, you will face some insane negative points. The smokes are coming in. Somebody's trying to be able to make a rotation as all the hunters have sort of grouped up here on the outside of zone. Now we're gonna be able to grab a late loadout just to help out a little bit. It does have a PDS on the ground. I don't know if he realizes that. That could be huge in this end game. No launchers allowed, so that's going to be tough for the heavy chopper. But we'll see what metal's yeah, able to do. Landing over here. I'm not sure if they're in it. The enemy is no longer tracking. Here we go, pushing on the heavy chopper. He's going to start unloading damage straight into it, but they retake <laughs> off, and it's just one hunter against the ducks in the heavy chopper. I feel like if you're all the hunters right now, you just everybody just has to start Bro, dumping bullets into this heavy chopper. Just I mean, go it, for it. It's a heavy it. chopper. It takes a lot. There's a there's a good chunk of them inside that helicopter. Like they'll, they'll, yeah, I <laughs> they've all <laughs> revolted and just all the ducks have gotten the heavy chopper and are just floating above the hunters. It's like crazy that this is what's happening. There's one that's down below. Oh, another one sneaks their head out. There's two down here at the bottom. Low tech, wait, Soka. That's low tech. I mean, Shifty's got to be around here somewhere. You got to be careful, bud. I don't see them, but I. Your teammate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got one of the kills, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. <gasps> there he is. He's waiting for it. Oh. Soka falls low, but oh! answers back with a breacher drone. What a big brain play from Soka. Shifty's trying to bait him, and he just uses this satellite no! dish as a breacher drone. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> no more Tompas for Shifty here in map number two. We're taken to the water, though. Got to cross. We have to keep an eye on where the slew of ducks were in that heavy chopper. Finds one. Another starts to wrap around. The hunters just descend upon the ducks. Only, I believe, two other teams remaining of ducks left. One team of ducks left. And ooh, wait, ooh, okay. Uh -huh. I think it's just uh, oh, friendly fire. But I, I'd be safe. I'd be safe. No, there's still people throwing smokes. There, there are ducks still up. Are we baiting? Yeah, are we hunters here. baiting with the amount of smoke quality that we're throwing here? Oh, nice. Good calls. Looks like there's one left here in the smoke. It's actually Ducky the Gamer. 
I think ending up being the last final remaining duck that was there, but hunters do come out on top. Soka and Metalcore, we were worried about them coming online, but towards the end, looks like they were able to find a solid number of those ducks. Hey, you gotta find all the ducks you can, and congratulations to our hunters once again. A lot of those ducks starting to revolt a bit more, and we're seeing some of that early action. But will there be a map in which our ducks are able to take down all of the hunters? Well, I guess we just have four more maps to go to think about that. But is there anything different aside from the heavy chopper that we've witnessed from our ducks, Dandro? Well, I think we just saw a couple of them really trying to play those areas where baiting some of the hunters into a room and being able to take them down. We saw Pinkify was actually able to do that, uh, or actually it was Natarsha, I'm sorry, do that against Tommy sort of in the middle of that map. So I think if you can do that, maybe you have one player, you know, get your, your PC player who knows the mechanics and how to move in this game, get them to maybe bait a hunter into a room and just say, hey, all we need to do is when they come in here, we just have to slam them. <laughs> not a bad idea so i hopefully we see a little bit more of that we're obviously seeing the ducks start to adapt maybe some evolutionary tactics Ooh. happening here as they all jump into the heavy chopper uh, a couple different duck teams in that game so obviously it seems like game to game to game the hunters and the ducks are both kind of learning and trying to take things a little bit differently every single map I think mean, that's what you kind of have to do. And something that Tommy was saying when we were spectating on his POV, he's like, you know, sometimes being a hunter in map number one is the best way to get the most points because the ducks haven't adapted just yet. Now, next thing you know, we're gonna have S rank ducks by map number four and they're gonna have like upgraded armor no i'm just kidding but you never know wow. they're gonna be a little more tough to kill but something that we've noticed with one of our ducks that has been the most efficient at eliminating hunters with the tomfa is the way that they're playing around the buildings they're often yep. kind of pounced right up on top of the ladder so you you have the hunter that comes through and then you just get ton foot down off the high ground we've also seen them kind of work different angles around fences kind of any kind of hop-ups actually has been perfect for them yeah, and we actually saw right at the end there, Shifty was trying to do that to Soka. Yeah. Soka, just a little bit too smart, has the Breacher drones, is able to hit that satellite dish right above Shifty to be able to eliminate them. We saw some love taps come in after the elimination, long time duo, not surprised to see that. But hey, it actually is Soka and Metalcore are wow. your top hunter squad for map two with 17 kills, matching, of course, selling a band from that first map. So map number two, that thousand dollar bonus will of course going to Soka and Metalcore, which is kind of surprising Tiff, because earlier on in that map, we kind of heard Soka getting frustrated that he wasn't able to find anyone. That is true. And that's where things get tough because he had the donut for at least two to three minutes into map number one. And I think that is going to be the hardest portion of our map, that early game. If you're not finding ducks right off the rip, the map is just so big for only 25 duos to be ducks. So you've got about 50 ducks on the map and they can cover all different aspects. Most of them have been hiding out around the water early on. We do see a lot of ducks that take to roofs because they want to get the vantage point and if they can kind of flock away if they see a hunter nearby or you position yourself around the zip lines. The only thing that's yep. scary though is our hunters, man. They've got impeccable aim. And if you stay in one direction for a little too long, similar to the player that was kind of trying to work the staircase, uh, why can I not think band? No, right? Acelian band? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's uh, trying it was to... Jesus, I thought. I thought it was Jesus saying. Well, Jesus, Jesus also tried very hard to get away and unfortunately yeah. it did not. He did not go away. Well, they tried their best. But hey, that's map two, Tiff, done and dusted. Finally, thank you for bearing with us, chat. We were able to make it on through. I think it's going to be smooth sailing here from on out. So we're going to go ahead and do a quick break. And when we come back, map number three.
What's up everyone and welcome back to the $50,000 quack hunt presented by Warzone Total Frenzy. The first two maps well, they were absolutely chaotic, and we're still waiting for that full-on duck revolt, but maybe we'll see it in map number three, Dandro. I mean, I hope so. We do have our little bit of a clause. If the ducks are somehow able to take out all of the hunters, they will all be gaining five points. So something that we're kind of waiting on to see. So far, though, this map is huge. The ducks are doing a great job of really just spreading out, and we haven't really seen too many of our hunters get full eliminated at the hands of the ducks. So... It could just be maybe the aggression rises as the day goes on. But the thing I'm most excited to see is we have some of, of course, our amazing content creators and competitors that are used to PC Warzone. But we're also starting to see some signs of life from some of our mobile creators who are here today. They're a little bit of fish out of water, but they're still doing a fantastic job. But Tiff, we're getting ready to go into map number three, and we have five brand new hunter squads. We do have, we got H May and Jesus Can Save You, Majin and Raider, Smixie and CoScript, T and Cerberuski, and Tifa Jesse and Gemini. Now, a lot of these players, well, they've been active in the gen chat, let's just say that much. And I know they've got a couple vendettas they're ready to enact. And I'm curious to see kind of what that's going to look like in map number three, or if we're gonna see any new strats. But all eyes are on our hunters for map number three. Well, we talked about him earlier. The Majin, who is here cosplaying as their favorite character from up. But look at this. Wait, I think they're starting to do what I was asking them to do, Tim. <gasps> this is a horde of a ducks flying at Majin. He's able to turn, find one, wraps back around, gets in some of these pistol shots. These ducks, they were hungry, but they're not able to get their thirst for blood. They tried, though, and just hopping into that vehicle to disengage and get away from the vicious ducks is going to be the smart move here for Majin, who honestly dressed for the occasion. He wanted to explore the wilderness looking for neighboring ducks, and I think that's what that top right badge on the vest is actually for, his duck hunting capabilities. Wow. Who would have known? Look at you, knowing these wild things. I, I do know the, a lot of wild things, actually. Mostly uh, when it comes to ducks, but sometimes you just got to reverse it back and switch seats. Make sure you check all of your surroundings. Those ducks, they do like to flock all out of their buildings when they see a hunter coming. Plus, he hasn't really had a chance to loot thoroughly, so he still had that pistol. Maybe he is able to grab another weapon or two, but regardless, it's been a tough start because now Majin is a solo. Yeah, it's a really bit of a, a tough situation as one of the hunters, right? You're, this is your opportunity, your time to shine, to get all of those points that you've been frothing at the mouth for when you were a duck. You've gone through two lobbies. You say, man, I can't wait to be a hunter. And well, to get landed on by a couple of ducks and have your teammate get taken out this early, it's a little bit unfortunate. He spots one on the roof, though. Can he get up there is the question. Maybe get a different angle to find them. It looks like I think they've been able. I oh know they're still up there. He's just waiting. Wait, we're seeing a smoke get thrown at him. These ducks want to be able to start pushing. They want to get mixy. <laughs> Look at him up there by the radio tower. I feel like they're just begging Majin to come join them. And here we go. The push comes in. And well, Wait. there goes oh, the no. stun. But oh, here no. it comes. He's got to get in the vehicle to try to get away. <gasps> but the ducks, they are here for vengeance. Is one still in the car with him? Okay, good. I was just making sure, man. I thought they were really trying to steal his ride. I was hoping one was going to somehow land in the back and then just sit there. And like, <laughs> he's going to have to get out eventually, right? Like, at some point... He will have to get out of the vehicle if he wants to try and gain some of these points. But these two ducks are just doing a great job of making sure Majin is not around there. And as we come on over to Smixie, look at the right side, Tiff. I'm seeing Brittany Reigns in the match chat trying to be able to work with the fellow ducks to make something happen. Claiming that they need fuel cans. I wonder if they're trying to go over this heli strat again. My money. Okay, I was hearing for the, I was I was down three, for the strat here. Got to get enough for a UAV. Maybe need to find okay, another. Oh no, I see in the gen the prox oh, chat here, the match no. chat. <laughs> Tifa is a duck hunter, physically a hunter dressed 
with the bath time <laughs> operator <laughs> skin. Wait, well, uh, yeah, it's, it's you see a duck with a gun, so start I running, right? Like, we'll use it to your advantage. <laughs> use it to your advantage, I guess. Befriend the ducks and then betray them. <gasps> no, don't do it. We've seen what happens on the climb up. Uh, they didn't show up on the personal radar, though. So that was like a little bit interesting. Hold on, I'm this guy. a little sketchy duck, if I do say so myself. A little sketchy duck. Oh, one flies in on the roof. Okay, can Smixy make her way up there successfully is the question. Oh, there's a PRD. That would definitely be one way to be able to get on top. It looks like, though, oh, you're going to hit the jump. Oh, the duck flies off. Smixy, though, going to go ahead and drop. Can she find this duck to bring them on home? Shots are there deep. They're literally one HP. Can you find the duck? We pick the corner, straight into the water we go, and now it's in pursuit. And well, Metal, you were a hunter in map number two. You have become the hunted here in map three. Nice job grabbing the car. Uh, have you popped your UV yet? Yeah, I already popped it. Uh, popped okay, it. nice. Next, yeah, yeah. Here, go ahead. You can drive. Yep. All right, gonna hop in together. Uh, Figure out where they want to go. Let's go on over here towards Old Town. Hit the zip and maybe start looking through. And this match chat is like, what's funny is that like all of them trying to work together in match chat, like all the hunters can see this going down. Like they know what the strategy is that's there. Sometimes you just need a good switch up here. But Majin, who's been a solo since the beginning, since the Ducks decided... They weren't going to put up with being hunted anymore. And they just all landed on Raider. But we've got to find this strat, right? It's just couple the zips together, fly around, look to see if you can get any sights on that bath time operator skin. And most of our times, we just want to hit the rooftops, right? Because sometimes that's where they like to play around. They want to be by the ladders. So they can kind of make a quick getaway. But for Majin now, he's kind of in this lull where he's not able to find too many ducks. Yeah, you're just kind of trying to go through. Okay, well, as we say that, Tiff, he does find a duck, but this duck is giving him the slip. So a little bit of a rough situation. Hopefully he can manage to get there. On board with Tifa Jesse, who, like we said earlier, we uh, saw after map number one was sitting in the negative. So this is the time for her and Gemini to really boost the scores, boost the points right now. Hasn't been able to find anyone just yet. And Gemini actually gets taken out. Look at the UAV, Tiff. I think there's at least three ducks over here that have managed to bring him down. I'm literally... Don't shoot me, you dumbass. What the hell? Oh, no. Well, goodbye, Tifa. That's some hunter violence. Oh, wait. I don't... Oh, man. If Smixa gets the minus 10 from that, that is going... You stink. I think they both think got I full wiped. <gasps> really? Oh my god, I did. I think you killed two. Oh. Good show. I swear. I mean, now we just have to frag hard. Right? Like, you just have to frag hard. I know, I trolled. I'm sorry. You good, you good. No, she... It's kind of interesting. Like, let's think about this in multiple different ways. It denies Tifa the ability to get points up for her duo, but also Smixy loses 10. Yeah, we'll have to wait and see. You know, obviously Tifa, unfortunately, like changed her skin before we loaded in and it just, for some reason, didn't stick. It happened, so... Yeah, okay, Smixy sees really a duck, you fault. shoot a duck. That's the rules here, right? So maybe just unfortunately a little bit too she late. Did not see the gun in hand. So we'll see. Uh, we're seeing. Uh, yeah, we are getting uh, confirmation from our yeah, admin team. Smixy actually won't lose the 10 points. So there, like... it, it happens. It's a okay. So they will continue to have their points. No uh, worries here. Unfortunate for Tifa. Don't get me wrong. Maybe our admins can let her know, like, hey, your, your teammate can buy you back. It's okay. There's this once, you know, obviously we didn't know. Sorry, like, yeah, we'll so. figure it out. That's the fun thing about trying to do some of these events like Quack Hunt is there are some nuances that can, you know, be out of our control. And we worked our best to get them remedied. It's all good. Smixing Coast Group, though, they do currently lead the lobby right now for the Hunters. 
Zero okay. sitting at five, and ooh, speaks flies on over. Season one deep, got in some good shots, but unfortunately was not able to bring them down at the edge. Get over here, duck. Well, here we are with uh, T, who's on her lonesome. I think she's here, someone inside though. Ooh, oh, this is where it gets scary. <laughs> at, at, least, at least we're pulling. Oh! <laughs> Wait! Yeah. What just <laughs> happened? <laughs> Where did that duck come from? She goes. She accidentally shoots another hunter. She feels the. Here's the footsteps. <laughs> that hunter runs out, and then another duck just goes on top of her, takes her out. The timing. We have learned about COD timing for years. That might be the funniest moment of COD timing I've seen in my life. Oh my god. I feel like that duck <laughs> saw an opportunity and took it. Sometimes you only have one chance, Dandro. And that duck seized the moment. Oh my gosh. It's just like the timing of like, T accidentally puts in a couple bullets on a hunter. It's like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. And then it's like, kind of was like, okay, cool. Like I must've just been hearing them. And just to have a duck immediately run on top of you is just so funny. Be careful, be careful. Yeah, he, he just smoke at me. Yo, watch the bottom. Oh, no. Not when the ducks start throwing the smokes. This is what happens. Youngsters has been waiting for that moment. Can we just take a quick second to talk about it? My man CoScript is playing on a GameCube controller. You got to use what you got, all right? Look, I've seen plenty of people make all kinds of content surrounding which controller they feel is the best. Yeah. Also, I really think this duck is putting in the moves here. Or heck, I see you. Hey, they tried. We like that. Oh, look at through. There's another duck, though. Smixy, doing a great Boy, job. He's kind of trying to get in some of these shots. Somebody else tries to run on out, but Smixy stays <laughs> strong. Is That's shady. Tried to be able to move around, but hey, you just kind of... In those moments where you're getting stunned up like that, you just got to keep shooting your gun. <laughs> Unfortunately for shady. Smixy able to take them down and now currently sitting on seven feeling pretty good pretty good but we're not done with this building just yet trying to snuff out all the ducks serving them a little bit of an eviction notice i hear their feet running around and i feel like this is so interesting she has the the uh the you know the gas grenades right and then also has C4, is running restock, and is just throwing everything in this building right now. Try to just maybe get a hit marker of some sort. Just get some confirmation that somebody is here and can do, you know, something to put them onto the back foot. Have to see here. You know what happens when you go in. You have to be very weary of every corner. You saw just how fast that duck turned on T. One day you're given a duck bread, the next it's biting your hand. Oh wait, the suppression mine coming up the stairs. Oh, nobody's here to take advantage of it though. Oh wait, comes up on the top. Duck? There you go. Good play, good play, good play. Hey, teammate, coming in with the hype. Now, honestly, I was just curious if a duck made that building like its little house of horrors. Then you're just going to run around hitting traps, so then when you're least expecting it, you get taunted <laughs> into the ground. It's just saw. It's just saw, but on Earth yes! it stands. Oh, God. I would, that'd be so funny. Like, every different layer of that, uh, that building would just have, you know, suppressor mine, and then it's going to have a cluster mine, and then it's just going to have, like, anything else. Smixie's come on over here. Look at the double choppers that are here trying to make an exit. She gets in some tags on one of them, and they're just going to fly away for free. You know, time is of the essence. And if you can be patient, but here we go circling know, through buildings. Kills, we can try. Look, you might. You got to keep trying. All you can do is try. And all the ducks can do is try harder. Also go through, maybe clear out some of these buildings. Make sure that there's nobody just trying to lurk off the edge of zone. Doesn't look like it. Could go over and hit that UAV tower if they really wanted to, but. Here's see Apartments. where we're next. Seems to be clear for now. Like a P 
PA and stuff, right? Yeah. I love like this, right? Never fair. Yeah, like, anytime you have bands and stuff yeah, in a tournament, there will always be like, hey, what what exactly I mean, is it? And you always want to clarify before you use it. And no matter how many times you read the rules, you yeah, yeah, still yeah, will be like, oh, no, I don't know if I'm supposed to do that. <laughs> I don't know if I can use this. Smixy. Lance top red. Spots one across. She got some good tags, but wasn't able to get the full... Now, come on over here. Can she snake this one out? She does. A nice little wall bang. We'll be able to clean that one up onto metal. As this zone is closing in here at this cargo location. Ooh. Is that Hunter? <laughs> so you got to be careful if you're uh, jumping at Smixy. That girl's got a trigger finger. She's ready. She's used to playing a lot of Warzone comp and that just, you know, you, you see it, you shoot no matter what. But she did have... Her instincts. She had a little bit of control there. I'm not going to lie. All right, Majin. Got to hit that refuel and repair. Dollar tournament. Today is Warzone and I'm absolutely disgustingly terrible at it. And tomorrow's Warzone Mobile. But we're playing this duck hunt game. All right. I like Raider. Raider just, you know, because I'm saying I'm, I'm not great today, but tomorrow might be where you go ahead and shine. Majin able to fuel back up, repair this armored truck, and he's going to Austin Powers his way around here to try and maybe rotate back into zone. Finally, get the little one stuck. A 50 point turn on a golf cart. I see you. Like. Always here for the giggles and the laughs and the good Honestly, times. Raider's voice, so it kind of sounds like it's coming through the radio of this vehicle. Like it's just a soothing yeah. talk show host at this I point. <laughs> these things are very slippery. If you've never driven one of these before, it's like you think you're just driving normally. It's very easy to kind of get this thing to just go wibbly wobbly very, very quickly. So that's true. It's almost as bad as like the Jeep, the white Jeep-esque style vehicle. You're just mm. drifting, not Tokyo style. You're just stuck. Yeah, I, I did not turn my, uh, oh. I had to, a special microphone. I did not have a PC set up, sweetheart. Ooh. I did not have a PC set up for streaming. So I had to set this up on the ones and I have this one at? setting when I flip out to change my screen when I put in the deal. So my mic's still works. I don't know where they at, bro. Off. Interesting. <laughs> I'm just learning this whole life right now. Yeah, I was like, I'm like, I'm trying to like figure out where Majin is, but I'm like, oh, what's going on with Raider? I to... <laughs> I'm invested I'm in the Raider lore in this right story. now. We're down to uh, there's still actually a lot of teams left. To, like you look at that, we have our five hunter teams here, but that means there's just still 15 other teams remaining. So 15 of those 25 duos are still here in a zone. And Majin is trying to be one of those players to eliminate the rest of these ducks. Oh, wow. sees one on the stairs. Okay. He's got to be careful, though, because if these ducks are smart, they're going to be ready and waiting. They can just two-shot me, bro. They can two-shot you. You got to watch me. out. Ducks are strong. Yeah, with the gloves. What do you mean? What kind of gloves? We got the gorilla glove up in here? I've yet I to see that one come I believe the gladiators through. can two-shot, yes. All right. I feel like Majin's a little nervous. See it. <laughs> I mean, he should be. I am. Enemies are dropping into the area. It, it's like it's Look it's scared. almost like you know, <laughs> knowing yeah, like not knowing that there's a duck in there and then getting kind of jump scared is one thing, but it's another thing to be here and then like you're hearing people stomp around inside of a building and you're just like, ah, uh, I don't I don't feel safe here. Dang, you've got so much uh, damage on. <laughs> okay, yeah, straight over. I think they're all in oh. that chopper, bro. Not the counter UAV yeah, and not so. the heavy chopper yet again. But there are so I many buildings so left in this area, yeah, right? Yeah, this is a, a nice ending for Quack Hunt. What are we gonna oh, what the fuck? The <laughs> How many choppers are up there? Dog, what am I? Look at, they've all formed a formation. <laughs> <laughs> The ducks are what falling from the sky. What seance do we have going on in aerial combat right now? Where you look up and there's just nine helicopters above you. The ritual of the ducks have begun. <laughs> he just looks up and there's just nine of them sitting there. And they're just going to like hang out there probably until they run out of... Uh, 
run out of gas and then you just hop out you can kind of just float in the air if you need to majin though trying to take his opportunity to find these ducks where they are we'll be able to bring down kaylee turns around here's one trying to do their best it's a verdict but got a little bit stuck on the door as we're starting to see these helicopters yeah, start collapsing from the sky <laughs> they just fall out like dead weight once they run out of gas and spots another keeps the pressure going starts getting trigger happy and immediately puts some fire into a hunter but that's okay didn't kill him it happens what a flesh wound it is and you're still just seeing them go on through i mean we saw one duck manage to get away a prd comes out there's a duck on top of this building it's gonna kind of come down to where the zone pulls tiff and well some of these ducks that landed on the roof, you're going to have to move. So if our hunters get a little bit smart here, all they got to do is just play ahead and these ducks got to move. But a PA comes on in. I'm going to leave one of these hunters. So you got to be careful if you are one of these other enemy hunters. Still helicopters just vibing. You got to be careful, though. The more time you spend just staring up into the sky, you leave yourself open for a rogue duck. That many bullets. Here's them. There's gotta be somebody yeah, nearby. <laughs> there's still two yeah, just helicopters up here. You're seeing there's a couple like ducks in the zone. Ajin. Eleven total squads. Five of those will be our hunters. So we got they oh are withstanding, goodness, though. You oh got to give it to the ducks, man. If the ducks can learn to fly helicopters, they deserve it. I mean, we know that ducks can fly. They do migrate yearly. Just now they've learned how to navigate and operate armored helicopters. I'm broke. I need some air bullets. Oh, when you don't have any bullets. It's okay, though. You got that SMG. 200 rounds still avail looking for the jump ups and we find the duck good moves there for Brittany Reigns to, yeah. to go prone and try to be a little oh okay here we go we're down to the final five which should all be the hunter squads which means the very last ducks were taken out now the question is who was able to withstand and get the most eliminations yes well, I mean, according to our uh, thing there, it was potentially T, who when we cooned in earlier, was solo. I've seen a 22 on the board there, but the Hunters win either way, Tiff. After the Ducks try their best to have a seance in the sky, wasn't enough Hunters able just to kind of position themselves just a little bit better, find them as they started dropping like flies. We're trying to manifest a duck win up there, but uh, granted, <laughs> they were starting to get a little more advanced. Think back to the start of map number three, and well, we saw a lot of ducks landing on hunters and acting their violence early on, especially when they only have that pistol. That is your best time to put the moves on a hunter. So I'm curious to see if we see a couple more ducks doing that in the next up and coming maps. I hope so, because it worked out pretty well, right? We saw Raider get taken out super early on. Majin was like almost taken out as well, but thankfully was able to turn, use that pistol to the best of their ability. But it just shows, I feel like map over map, if the ducks are getting more aggressive and they're finding new ways to stay alive. So maybe, you know, I know we don't have launchers, but it's becoming apparent that these helicopters on the map are just a very valuable resource. We saw Brittany Rains in the chat trying to rally all the ducks together to be able to get all of the fuel and, and gas canisters and everything they needed to just stay up in the sky. They are uniting together. The ducks are forming for a win. I can feel it. It's gonna happen one of these days. I mean, they're getting better at evasion, but we need to work together to maybe stun lock. Now, granted, just because you pair up with maybe six or eight ducks to look for that hunter eviction, only one player is gonna be able to get that five points. But if you kind of all band together and take down the ducks, maybe we spread out the eliminations maybe by luck you never know but True. the best thing that you can do is set yourself up for success right because there is fifty thousand dollars on the line for quack hunt thirty eight thousand is going to be attributed in that prize pool for your cumulative score across our two days 12 total matches 
But for the other 12K, Dandro, it is when you are solely hunting, right? The yeah. most eliminations for any hunter after every match will get themselves $1,000. Now, if you tie, you split it, right? So each duo would get $500 and so on and so forth. Yeah, I mean, we saw, of course, obviously, Selly and Band in map number one were able to grab yeah. theirs, and Soka and their duo grabbed it in map number two. So we'll get confirmation who that was in that map number three. I have a great admin team on the back end who's trying to get all of that together. But wow, we are finally kind of the steam is rolling here, Tiff. We are halfway through our six maps. And I think now is where we start to see things take a turn. Players, they want to be able, if you're a hunter, I think we're going to see them start getting a little bit more aggressive. But that aggression is there to match the duck's aggression. Okay, listen, I've been there. I've been at a pond when you see a little mother duck and all of her little ducklings. And you try and, you know, maybe get a little bit too close. They'll bite your ankle. It's happened to me before. I have the scars to prove it. And we'll have to see if any of our competitors here are going to be biting ankles. I need to see, actually, you can't show the scars on broadcast. You can't bring your ankles Nobody up here. Nobody wants to see that, no. I, I mean, but, but, but I want to I wanna hear more about this, the, the duck violence, bro. I didn't realize that ducks did that. If I was eight, it was a very traumatic experience. I really was hoping you wouldn't ask me any more about it. I was being vulnerable to try and relate to both you and the viewers. So thank you for making me remember that. I'm gonna go cry. All right, well, while you go cry, I'm gonna go work on getting that leaderboard up and ready for us because we're gonna cut to a quick break. When we come back, uh, more sadness from Dandro and more ducks being hunted.
Welcome back everybody to the 50k quack hunt. I have some news for everybody. We will be replaying map three. We did have some nefarious actors make their way into the lobby. And because we want to make sure that we are keeping everything the most fair for all of our uh, competitors, because like I said, we have $50,000 on the line. Man, we want to be able to do that. So here we go. Map number three again, Tiff. We have our hunters back as H May Jesus can save you, Mosh and Raider, Smixy Coastscript, T and Cerberuski, and Tifa Jesse with Gemini. We saw the helicopters come out. Do we see them again? Those are not ducks. Okay. Hey, at least she's going up to the sky looking to make sure no ducks are going to bring the violence early on. But for her and Coastscript, they've got to hit the heli. Look at her go. IGL Smixy going hard on Quack Hunt. Here's something that's actually kind of interesting, right? So we've seen that a lot of the ducks want to use the helicopters. What if the hunters just immediately off rip steal all the helicopters? I think that's a very smart option for our hunters to take through. So when we don't have is end game, seven helis in the sky peering down at our hunters again. I have some plates for you here. Enemies are into the area. Watch the skies. Oh. <laughs> Smithy was ready to gun. <laughs> She's like, all right, here we go. Ducks, keep an eye out. Maybe our heli is about to get stolen. So good things to keep an eye on. It's a solid early call from Smithy. Understanding there's probably some people on the train. Flying away. But for T and Zerberuski, I mean, look, they put up numbers prior uh, no, to this so to to keep an eye right and see if they'll be able to do it again we did lose out on Cerberuski a little bit earlier than we would have anticipated so hopefully we can keep them back in the game throughout the duration of it mm. um do you have uh no you probably don't have an extra player you're lacking yourself <laughs> i have a duck on me though I just feel like the so way he said that was so like nonchalant <laughs> i don't suppose you have an extra plate because you're lacking yourself can I recommend a plate from you, my dear? Doth way. thou haveth any plates he, that I out. might use? Yep. It. Need to be fully plated, especially when those I ducks were talking it. about yeah, which yeah, yeah, melee okay. weapons were the you, two hits. You, you <laughs> you One thing I think that'd be really interesting, because we're seeing people love going, of course, to this heavy chopper. What if you just kind of, I don't know, get some uh c okay this makes it gonna do even better i was gonna say what if you get some c4 and just lace this thing up smix is gonna do the next best wait. thing and that's just go ahead and camp it yeah, unless i mean do we really need two people sitting on the uh, no, no. should i just walk around maybe find some yep are we baiting the helicopter on the helipad right now for a duck to yep. come take it i like that i think they are I think uh I think if I'm you know this this team, I actually rather have Coast being the one just sit on the plane, be able, you know, obviously Smixy is the the more kind of a player that's used to PC Warzone. So let her be the one running around the map trying to do what she needs to do. And uh, you know, kind of let Coast be the one to kind of hang out here. But looks like Coast running around on the other side as Smixy is just, you know, chilling. I respect it. You gotta get a little crafty when it comes to being a hunter, right? But I think this is the safer place to hide out when you're waiting for a duck to potentially take the heavy chopper. Do you think so? Yeah, I know so. I'm gonna pull like 200 meters away from you. She's confident. Ooh. All right, Let's see what's happening. Oh, okay. <laughs> Justice for Doug the Duck. Justice oh, for Doug. Doug the Duck. Majin, he started that last game in an unfortunate situation. His teammate Raider got taken out at the start of the game. So I'm glad that here it's seemingly a little bit better. Already sitting on two eliminations. Raider up and healthy now. So we love that Raider's been able to kind of be here and be part of the game. Yeah, grateful, because now they can put up some eliminations. Some ducks taking that vehicle are going to try and get away from Majin and Raider, who are playing a little bit closer towards each other. Another hunter looking to make a play. 
keep eyes on where that duck is going because Majin's on the hunt. I like this. This player's kind of lighting up. Majin's going to get a little bit ahead of them. The shots. Can you disable this I'm armored so truck? It takes so many bullets to be able to make it on happen. Does not look like it's going to get that there. That damn car is thick as shit, too. Is he calling me out? That's a good question. Is it, is it, it or is it Tifa Jesse, one of the other hunters? You I mean, know that, what? It's got to be that. That Let's makes a real. little bit more sense. Dude, that was like, <laughs> like sometimes when your name is Tiffany, you get a little thrown. But regardless, imagine <laughs> still hunting the vehicle on main. Uh, like on that bridge where we were just at, it, I can see through it right in the back of my car. Oh, really? Okay. All right, verdict. Let's go. You've got to hunt people yeah, my, down. Now, granted, Majin and Raider, they weren't really finding too many. Whoa, my man just super jumped out of that vehicle. Regardless, let's get him back in. So far, um, these are numbers are kind of even across the board. T and Cerberuski are going to take that early lead. But we'll see what Majin and Verdict are able to, or Majin and Raider are able to do here. I, you know, I don't hate this because I, I, we've seen so many where people are in these vehicles. If you can just keep up with them. That's kind of what you got to do. So if you are Raider and Majin, maybe just find some people who are also in vehicles. You're rolling around in this Bertha. You're able to bring them on down. I think that's something that we would love to see. On over with h May and Jesus can save you. Looks like they maybe are just trying to figure out where else do they want to move throughout the map. I do believe that's actually Chrissy sitting behind h May, by the way, which I think that's kind of cool. We've got multiple players here in our tournament. It's kind of fun. It's nice little house set up there for the Sussex sisters, but back in action, I think H May was able to make the debut in one of the last weeks of Crown the Queen to get back competing alongside H May and technically literally IRL alongside her. Lord, the duckies at the gas station. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm making my way, making my way. The ducks at the gas station. Oh my God, they're in the vehicle. Oh, there's one on the top. Oh, okay. Finally able to snag one. That is space getting taken out. Oh, oh wait. Wait. The gas grenades. Behind. There's a rogue duck sub. Oh, did you see that little duck squirtle around into that building? There he is. I don't know if squirtle is a verb tiff, but I love it. Uh, uh, thank We're you for using that. We're just going to use it at this point. You're welcome. <laughs> I, I like this. H May is just kind of like, all right, yeah. cool. You can hang out over there. That's fine. Ooh, comms vest. That's actually kind of a nice pickup here. You grab one of those UAVs, you're gonna basically going to get the effects of bird's eye. And that's kind of something I'm surprised more people haven't been running. Like, Bird's Eye would be so clutch with these UAVs. You know nobody's running Ghost. So you're going to basically get that advanced UAV effect every time you use it. I think it could be something useful. I've seen a lot of people are running high alert, and I'm just kind of like, why? The only people really aiming at you are going to be other hunters. So do you really have to worry about that? I mean, it's been definitely the tried and true perk oh, in that no. slot for the majority of our players. Oh, and as soon as they come on me, on me, is that Lodex that's able to grab that Tonfa? That and now the ducks hop in the car, man. Wow. Getting absolutely deleted and then getting your whip stolen. I can't think of anything worse. kind of unfortunate when you think about it that way we'll have to keep an eye on the rogue ducks in that vehicle and if jesus can save you can come back from the gulag Got him. Nice. Good takes down raider who's a hunter so a little hunter on hunter action and now Majin will be solo in the map three nice mistake H May finds a duck flying in from the sky. That's Huskers, actually. Oh, no. Not another hunter. I think that's Smixie. Yeah. Will not be surprised. I hear them. All right, your squad's in the safe zone. Oh, two ducks here. I fancy some mid cow rounds. Ooh. Just kind of clearing this out slowly, H May is. Wow, no. Okay, look. He said, hey, everyone, Blue Punisher has somehow gone back into the lobby. Can everybody please back out? <laughs> Wait, oh, really? All right. 
I think we may be resetting this lobby again here, folks. Yeah, gonna a get lot players. of people leaving the game. Yep. I think we're going to be able to see that. So we are seeing the announcements come on out here, Tiff. So looks like we are going to have to go ahead, get this lobby set back up, get the players back on in, make some additional security adjustments. Hopefully get this player out of here. If you all know Blue Punisher, he's on your friends list. Dude, do us a favor, him whisper out. him. Tell him to get a life. Okay? <laughs> I, we got better things to do than deal with you, we Blue Punisher. We got ducks to hunt. Okay? We got ducks to hunt, okay? Uh, yeah. That's what's killing me is we're not even playing like a normal competitive customs. We are playing quack hunt. Okay. At least you're going to ruin something, make it competitive. I think it's quite competitive. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm seeing oh, these hunters and they're doing the most lucrative things they can to shift the numbers in their favor. Whether that's baiting out the heavy choppers, whether it's chaining the vehicles together in hot pursuit of other rogue ducks and armored vehicles. You got to do what you got to do. Got to do. You got to be able to get there. So friends i do believe we are going to go ahead we got our players pulled out we are going to be setting up of course map number three here again so don't go anywhere because i'm crossing my fingers i'm putting it out there manifestation whatever you want to call it we're going to be playing map three when we get back here after this short break don't go anywhere
Hey, welcome back everybody thank you so much for your patience here unfortunately due to some unforeseen circumstances we are going to have to postpone the rest of today's event but don't worry we will be playing the rest of the matches tomorrow right here on twitch.tv slash call of duty at 5 p.m eastern standard time also over on the warzone mobile youtube as well if you are watching over there we definitely do apologize. You know, obviously everyone's pretty frustrated about this, but hey, 
what that does mean is that tomorrow we're going to be able to get all of our competitors back on in here and be able to run this the rest of the day so you know obviously we want to be able to wrap this up and have our good old points ready for the warzone mobile portion tomorrow but we will be able to continue on so i'm dandro that's spider tiff thank you so much for everybody tuning in today and well we'll see you guys tomorrow